What's up, guys? How you doing? Happy Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday. So, I just stood two hours in T-Mobile. And shit. Um, my phone is defective. So, I get a new phone Wednesday that I had to pay for. <laughs> I didn't want to pay for that shit. I'm going to wait for you guys to come on. But I want to address a few things about my channel as well. Because I'm tired of people and their nonsense. I'm being, I'm going to try to be as nice as possible too when I say this. Because it's like people come on my channel and shit and want to tell me, Yo, what up Brooklyn Miss? What up Nana Powers? Christina? So I want to tell people a few things, right? So my phone, the volume has been acting up. A lot of people have been complaining about it. Okay? So I went to T-Mobile and um, I stood two hours and my phone is defective. So I gotta get a new phone. What up, Morier? What up, Soraya? What up, people? Happy Sunday. <sighs> Tired as fuck, but I'm gonna do a, a Aries video today. I'm gonna do Aries, Scorpio. Uh, thank you, Mia. Hey, what up, V? What up, boss lady? When's my birthday? My birthday is February 18th. But uh, I'm gonna address a few things because you know, a lot of people been fucking... Uh, again, with this retrograde, everybody's emotions is out of whack. And I'm not for the... <laughs> I'm with the shits, okay? But I try to contain and control myself because I got a lot of shit in my mind. Uh, hey, what up, Geraldine? Yeah, so Aries is being dropped today. Hey, Mary. A7. So what happened is um, a lot of... Uh, I was, again, uh, my new phone comes on Wednesday, guys. But I'm definitely going to be doing Aries today and Scorpio, but just... Don't mind the volume. So I'm just giving you an update that my phone is defective. They found out today it is. But why the fuck I got to pay for that shit? But, um, you know, just people been plucking my fucking nerves, yo. And um, <laughs> you came back a great time. Nah, man, I'm going I'm to address a few things, though. Hey, what up, birthday twin, Mia? Maya? So, um, so I got to... It's funny shit, right? So I got to T-Mobile today. I got there when it opened. And people was already in there and shit. And when I walked in, everybody looking at me. So I'm like, help? My phone? Like, fuck. I got to say in front of everybody what the fuck is the problem. Nobody going to help. <laughs> so I'm standing there with homie and shit. Now, what the fuck we pay insurance for? Why do I, I have insurance for my phone, but I still got to pay for a new phone? That shit don't make no sense. You guys sold me a fucking defective phone. But I don't want to argue with people and shit, right? So anyway, there's these two girls, right? She, They work there. <laughs> so I, I'm standing there with the guy. And he going through the phone, the settings, and reach, whatever the fuck he doing, right? So these two, you know what I can't stand about people? I don't like when people stare in my face. So I'm like, is there something wrong with my fucking face and shit? It's like, is my fucking eyeshadow too dark? Like, is my, <laughs> I hate that shit. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like, you know, me, my upbringing, staring in people's face is an insult. Like, that's, that's like fighting. Like, yo, you got a problem and shit? Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, I just don't like that shit. <laughs> I don't like that shit. So they, you know, and especially when you're staring in my face and then talking, and then when I look at you, you looking away and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, I, I need to get out this fucking store. It's too hot. You know, it's, it's hot today. So anyway, I was there for two fucking hours, and I left out of there and shit. And I've been reading my comments. <laughs> It's been fucking with me. It's a lot of shit. I'm a little cuckoo, okay? I'm a little cuckoo these days. So it's a lot of shit. <laughs> so I'm reading some shit. So um, I had the last video I did was Libra, right? And I want to address something. So my channel is not for the fucking week. I always tell people that shit. Only real people come to my channel if they want to hear real fucking messages. If you want to hear about butterflies and fucking rainbows, go to another fucking channel, okay? Yes, if my videos scare you, Okay, well, you know what? Welcome to the fucking world that we live in, okay? It's pretty fucking scary if you open your fucking eyes, all right? 
I don't know where, how you grew up. I don't know what kind of background you came from, but I talk about real shit. That's my fucking readings, okay? So again, there are thousands of readers out there. So if you want to hear about beautiful things and how it's sunny and bright every fucking day and it's beautiful, then go to those fucking channels. Don't come on my shit talking about I'm scaring you and I'm negative. Well, whoever the fuck I'm reading for is negative. And whatever scenario is going on right now is fucking negative, okay? I can't help how the messages come out, all right? That's number one. Number two, number fucking two, okay? Don't tell me how to fucking read my cards, right? If you if you're another tarot reader, you read your cards your the fucking way you read them, okay? If you want to Google some shit about what this mean and what that mean, then you need to fucking start your own channel, TikTok, whatever the fuck you want to do. But don't come on my channel and tell me I'm not reading the cards correctly or I'm Mr. Mis- no, I'm reading them the fuck I want to read them. This is how this is how this works, okay? Every fucking reader reads differently, okay? We all interpret things differently, all right? Now. That's number two. Number three, if you can't, if, 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 the, the, if the message don't apply, right? That's why it's called general, general fucking reading. It's called a general reading. If you don't understand what general reading means, why don't you fucking look that shit up and see what it means? Don't fucking come on my channel telling me, oh, this is not happening in my life right now. I don't know what you're talking about. When motherfucker, then you need to go to another channel. Why are you trying, if you wear a size 12 shoe, why are you trying to fit into a size eight? That don't make no fucking sense. If the shoe doesn't fit, go about your fucking business. Go kick fucking rocks if you can, if you can, okay? That's number three, all right? All my peoples that's on my fucking channel are real motherfuckers that want real shit. They don't want, they don't want, again, again, again. If you want butterflies and rainbows, go to another fucking channel. I'm not butterflies and rainbows. I'm going to tell you some shit, even if it scares the fucking shit out of you. But welcome to life and welcome to the fucking world, okay? Maybe somebody else might appreciate the message and say, okay, yeah, oh shit, I got to watch my fucking back, okay? Or I got to be on my P's and Q's and shit like that. This is... (laughs) This is what the fuck it is, okay? This is what the fuck it is, all right? I'm just saying, because motherfuckers want to come on here, oh, you're reading it wrong. No, I'm reading it the way it's, it's, it is, okay? Don't fucking tell me how to do my work. If you want to be a tarot reader or if you're learning, then by all means, do your own fucking shit, okay? Don't, 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 oh, this is not my life. My life is, my life is going great. Well, then kudos to fucking you. Somebody else's life out there is not doing so fucking great. Okay? Thank you, Nine. Uh, V, the real ones in here appreciate you. Your readings are on point, and those haters can't stand the truth. Tasha and her cut. Thank you. Thank you, V. Thank you. Okay? Hey, what up? Keeping it real. Thank you, Noah. Yeah. This is what... Hey, Sunshine. This is what the fuck is all about. Right? You, You know, people... Again, people want me to teach tarot. I don't mind teaching tarot to people. I don't fucking mind, right? You know why I don't teach tarot to people? I don't. I could teach you the basics. I could teach you the basics, right? Of what each card means. But it's up to you intuitively to pick up on the message to read the card because everyone has a different perception, right? I, we can both see a picture. This, just example, right? I just, just a fucking example. You could give, you could, we could both be looking at the same picture, right? You may see trees and and a bench and shit like that. And I may see a car and somebody shooting at somebody. (laughs) We have different, we have different views and different perceptions about things. So it's not the fact that I don't want to teach Tara or no, you intuitively have to pick up on what each car means. You're going to pick, we're going to read it differently, right? It's just respecting other people's view on things. What other fucking people want to do? And, 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 and another thing, guys. So whoever wants to be a tarot reader out there, I don't mind fucking teaching you fucking shit. I don't. But you have to learn how to fly, right? I could teach you how to, you know, baby steps. But when it comes to reading, you're going to have to interpret that shit. You, it's, it's, you're going to read it differently as you progress, right? So that's what the fuck it is. I mean, 
everybody has their own way of fucking doing shit. It's like me telling you how to fucking do your job that you've been doing for fucking 20 years. I'm going to come in the job and say you're doing it wrong. But you've been doing the fucking shit for 20 years and it works for you. You see what I'm saying? People need to stay in their fucking place. This is the fucking shit about people. They don't know how to stay in their place and they don't know how to mind their fucking business. It's, it's, a, it's a difference between being opinionated and shutting the fuck up when need be. See? There's a difference. Sometimes you just need to shut the fuck up and mind your fucking business and go about your business. Because as soon as, let, let me tell you how I think, this, this is how I do. If I click on a video and the first thing the person is talking about something that it doesn't apply to my life, I click the fuck off. It's that fucking simple. It's that fucking simple. You know, people's span of attention is only five seconds. Do you know that? So why are you staying on an hour video to figure out that it doesn't it, it doesn't apply to you? <laughs> okay? There's some fucking weird, crazy ass mother. This is why this is why I do my readers like that. Because see, people mind is fucked up, yo. Fucking crazy ass people out here. Thank you, gratitude. You know? And that's just what it is. So hey people that people that are in the right state of mind and want to know what's fucking going on the real shit what's going on they come to my fucking channel because they could fucking take it these are strong these are my strong fucking people they're not weak-minded they strong they could take the bullshit okay you on the other hand whoever the fuck i'm talking to because there's many of y'all y'all i don't know if you guys were coddled all of your life and your mom and dad taught you that there's not violence so there's no, these are such a things doesn't happen this is why the fuck uh, and I'm not just, I, I'm not, this is why the fuck things happen to people because they're not aware of their surroundings or they don't pay attention to their instincts and their intuitions. When it comes to trusting people and just doing shit out of, you understand? My channel is to keep you on guard so that way you can, you, you will open your eyes to the fucking bullshit and how people can fucking be. That's fucking that. Okay? The fuck? You know, you don't like it? You can suck my fucking dick. That's right. I got bigger dicks than fucking men out there. Trust me and balls. Trust and believe me when I say that. Okay? Trust and believe me because I don't really give a fuck. And you can call me ghetto. You can call me whatever. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. That's the whole thing about me because I know my fucking self. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Another thing about life. When you stop caring, you grow. When you stop caring and don't give a fuck, you're going to see how much peaceful your life becomes when you don't give a fuck. Trust me, okay? Because I don't. I really don't, okay? Shit. Yeah, sit on that. Sit on that and let it marinate, all right? You think us readers, you think people out here, whoever, you think people out here, people that's blogging or, or social media and shit like that, are not humans and don't and don't suffer human experiences in life you think we're fucking robots and we don't have fucking feelings well me on the other hand you know i'm a tough cookie but still i got feelings just like everybody else and i'm not talking no emotional shit i'm talking some real fucking shit right here okay it's a it's a difference you know one person right he was nice about the shit on libra on the libra video he was nice about it he didn't come at me nasty he just said my volume is in and out he could barely he was right he was right he but he said it nice he said your readings are great i love your readings but your volume your volume i have a hard time hearing you sometimes it's going high and low maybe you have a malfunction he was nice about the shit. i respect that but when you coming at me like telling me what the fuck to do you got the wrong fuck. yo you got the wrong fucking one with that bullshit. <laughs> Okay, people who know me, they fucking know me. If you don't, welcome to my fucking world. Now you do. Okay? Fuck. And you know, he inspired me. I I looked over the Libra video and I said, he's right. But it, it's been put and I was like, you know, it's it's not my fault. It's, it is the fucking phone. Because when I went today is a malfunction. So that Libra person, thank you. Okay, because he was the one um that really convinced me. Thank you, Raven, to, to, to go and find out what the fuck. Because it shouldn't be acting like that. I never had a problem with the volume on my phone doing videos before. And then I told him, if that's the case, I should have kept my old phone. Because, you know, I really didn't need... You know, I'm that type of person, like, I could stay with shit and don't fucking bother me. I'm not with the latest trends and what's... I don't give a fuck about that. 
I do my own fucking thing. You wear Gucci, I wear Coach. So I don't care about that shit. And I told him, can I get my old phone back? I told him that that shit in the store. And he was like, that phone is gone. They don't have that phone anymore. Like, this is the updated. I was like, yo, like, what the fuck? I got to wait till Wednesday for a phone. And I got to pay for that shit. So what the fuck I'm paying insurance for? Like, yo. So we do, people out here, we do uh, suffer human experiences. You know, I'm going through, everybody goes through bullshit. But it's respecting it and, and, and staying in your fucking place. Stay in your fucking lane. This is why people get killed out and shit out there because you don't know what people are going through in their fucking mind and shit, and people just want to fuck with them. See? And then it's like, oh, that person was such a good person. Well, why the fuck is they in the grave then? Why the fuck they... You understand? Like, yo, shut the fuck up. You know? Because you know why? People don't mind their fucking business. They don't know when to shut the fuck up. Okay? Yo. Now, get a no, it's not the mic, Mira Mira. It's not, even if I get a mic, it's not the mic. It's a malfunction in the, in the, um, where the volume port is. We tested it today. That's why it took two fucking hours. Yo, what up, Gunner? It's true, though. It's true. You know? Shit, I done seen a lot of shit in my fucking life. Some people, they never fucking witnessed the shit that I seen growing up. They were coddling and raising the house and... Oh, everything is beautiful and shit like that. Well, everything is not beautiful, sweetheart. Everything is not beautiful, okay? <laughs> everything is not beautiful, all right? So go take a walk in the hood and see how beautiful that shit is, <laughs> okay? Fuck. Yeah, man. Got me some fucking white castles. I was pissed. I shouldn't have ate that shit, man. Now I'm gonna have the runs. But and that shit, I was fucking yo, because you know I'm fucking pissed. I gotta wait for a Wednesday for a fucking phone and shit. Shit is like, yo. But it just irritates my fucking soul. When people come on here and try to talk shit. You know? It's true. Go take a walk in the fucking hood and see how beautiful that shit is. Okay? As a matter of fact, why don't you just, why don't you rent a place in the fucking hood and stay there for a year and tell me how beautiful it is? Okay? Shit. People want to be talking about, oh, your your video scare me. Well, I'm glad it fucking did. I'm glad you sat through it and listened. Yes, it should. Okay? <laughs> it should. This is what, this is what the fuck is coming out. Hey. Yo, what up, Empress? Yo, this shit like, yo. People been getting on my fucking nerves, yo. You reading it wrong. You gonna tell me how to fucking read cards? You gonna tell me I'm reading it wrong because it doesn't apply to your fucking life and what is going, what you're going through at this time? You know, most people, and it's, this is the God honest fucking truth I'm gonna tell you about tarot. Most people come on tarot to see about their soulmate and to see how somebody else feel about them. Do you know that? Well, I'm sorry if I disappointed you and tell you that you're not going to have a soulmate and nobody cares about your stinking fucking ass. And that you, be, you better be careful for a serial killer out there that is, you know, looking for people that are insecure and, you know, yeah, to watch your back out there. So I'm sorry that the reading didn't apply to love. <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> okay? That's because they're not healed. Oh, but where's the love messages? Well, then go to a fucking channel that talk about love messages. There are many of them that could fucking tell you a beautiful story about a love that's going to be coming into your fucking life that's going to sweep your fucking feet, sweep you off your fucking feet. And... <laughs> Go there. There's many of them. Okay? There's many of them that just... There's many tower readers that just talk about love. Okay? It's true. Am I, am I wrong or right? Uh, there's many of them that talk about that. Love and, you know, this person is um, crazy about you and this... Fuck that. 
listen, when it happens, it fucking happens, okay? I'm crazy about myself. How about that? I'm crazy about myself. I love my fucking self. How about that? When I meet the right person, then they fucking go, I don't know about sweeping me off my fucking feet. I don't know about that because I haven't been swept off my fucking feet yet besides the fucking ocean. But other than that, I, yo, I, I never met somebody that swept me. I have you guys met somebody that swept you off your fucking feet, okay? And have your heart palpitating, <laughs> okay? Never fucking met. I never fucking met him. Where he at? He must be. He must be great if he could do all that shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Yo, what up, Casey? What up, Terrence? It's fucking true. It's fucking true. You know, people, people suffering some real shit out here. People are getting evicted. People are fucking starving. People are broke. You understand? And you want me to talk about soulmate and love and somebody sweeping you off your fucking feet and you're worried about the next meal you're going to have and your job and your money and shit? Come on, man. This, <laughs> yo, yo, fucking strange, yo. It's true. <laughs> a monster cheesecake from Wawa. Oh shit, Wawa, Wawa. I went to Wawa when I was in uh, PA, uh, Philadelphia. I went to a Wawa. I never heard of Wawa before, but Wawa is like 7-Eleven in New York and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not Disney Channel. Exactly. Do you see fucking Minnie Mouse here, bitch? Do you see Minnie Mouse? Goofy? No, you don't see any of that shit on my fucking channel. Okay? So take your raggedy ass on to another one, and there be there there be these fucking yo. You you look at a motherfucking hoe and shit, or these niggas, and they be the ones searching for love. You searching for love? Why don't you fix yourself first? Why don't you fix up yourself first and love yourself first? Go back to church or some fucking shit. Read the Bible. God will send the right person when the time is right. Like the bitch that was staring, the bitch. What are the bitches that was staring at me in T-Mobile and whispering to the other girl and shit, the worker, right? Her face, now, I don't I don't like to talk about people's face and shit because, you know, I had, like, um, cystic acne. Uh, it's growing away now, but, you know, um, when I had got, like, when I had fixed myself not to have kids anymore, my hormones was out of control and I was breaking out like crazy. Never broke out before. But this girl face looked crazy. The first thing I thought of was St. Ives and Curology. But you see, that's being mean, right? Because you're whispering and you're looking at me and that's fucking rude. I hate shit like that. But there, there be these bitches out here looking like I don't fucking know what. These niggas and shit and talking about where's my soulmate and shit like that. Yo, go to the fucking dermatologist. Go to the dentist. Why don't you fucking go to the doctor and fix yourself up before you look for somebody? These bro, bro, broke bum ass motherfuckers out here. Fuck. And then want somebody to be googly eyes over their fucking ass. I'm sorry, I have a lot of self-respect. I'm not shallow, though, but it be the truth about these motherfuckers out here. Stinking fucking feet and ass and, and looking for somebody. Yo, go look for your, go find yourself first. Fuck. Oh, YBW, I was looking for you, YBW. I'm going to post YBW. I've been looking for you. I'm right, though, right? I, yo, YBW, I ain't forget about you. Yeah. Yeah, fix yourself first, fucking yo. The hell. Had me wildin', man. Yo, and I yo, I don't I I don't even go in like <laughs> Yeah, because there's a lot of shit on my mind, man. You're welcome, uh YBW. Yeah, man, be a lot of shit on my mind, man. These motherfuckers be fucking with the wrong one, man. But I be protecting my energy, of course. Hey, what up, Libra chick? What up, Yolanda? Yeah, people need to work on their self. People need to work on their self. So my channel is for the real, man. Don't come on my channel telling me how to fucking read tarot or what the fuck to do. Oh, I'm not reading it right. Oh, you see, oh, you see the two of cups. So automatically that's love. Somebody is in love with you. Well, motherfucker, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to burst your fucking fantasy or whatever the fuck bubble you are in. This is not having to do with love, okay? No, not this, not this scenario, okay? 
Not this one. <laughs> Very hard, but if you coming for us, you better run because our mouths are crazy. Yo, Sharice, our mouths are crazy. Yo, what up, Jay? Fantasy is facts. What up, uh, Dario? Fantasies is facts. You want to come on? Look at me. Look at me. Seriously, look at me. Do I look like the type of person that's going to paint you a fucking picture of beautiful roses and butterflies and shit and rainbows? Do I look like that type of person? That's gonna fucking fill your head up with bullshit, okay? So you could be sitting there forever waiting on, I don't know what the fuck you wanna wait for, okay? But what's more important? What's more important? What do, what, what do you, what, what would you rather me talk about? Okay? Would you rather me talk about, paint you a fucking fake ass picture about how beautiful life is? Okay? That, you know, Life, when you step outside, you know, everything is like just peaches and cream. Or you want me to tell you to watch your fucking back because somebody out here is crazy, okay? And don't jump into love really quick. What do you want me to fucking say? Aloha. Hey. Thank you, Sharon. Gemini. Hold on, guys. That's my drink. Sorry about that, guys. I had to get me a drink before I do Aries. Aries, Aries, um, some of you guys may be dealing with a Libra because I picked up the same, but you guys are polar opposites. Aries and Libras are polar opposites. I don't know which one of you guys are the fucking, yo, there's, there's some crazy shit going on in Libra reading. If you guys watch Libra reading, that's some crazy fucking shit, okay? What? That's how it is. That's how it be out here, guys. Like everybody has something to say about somebody's fucking life instead of being concerned about their own fucking life. That's the problem with people. Oh, why are you buying that? Or oh, why are you drinking that? Cause I fucking feel like it. Cause I fucking feel like it. Don't tell me what to do. Okay? Fuck. Then when you snap on fucking people, right? Then you fucking crazy and shit. No. Learn to learn when to stay in your fucking place. Is it going in your body? My drinking is affecting you? Fuck. The hell? Who, who, Libra chick. Libra chick. You watch, you watch Libra, right? Did it scare you? Exactly, Stefan. Yo, what up, Lynn? Yeah. Fucking people always got something fucking to say. Mind your fucking business. Mind your business. Facts, right, Casey? The fuck? I do what the fuck I want. When I want. How I want. That's it. Libra reading was scary. Immortal. See? But what would you rather me have? 
you rather me tell you something that that i'm seeing everybody saw the cards how the fuck am i reading it wrong listen guys you gotta watch that shit if i get catfish with the dead card next to it this motherfucker is a serial killer this motherfucker likes to prey on people that's weak-minded and they kill people okay if it's scary i'm sorry out there but that's the way the fuck the shit was reading okay you can watch the video yourself that's what the fuck came out okay all the way to the fucking end it was on thank you immortal it was honest what the fuck do you want do you want do, I'm, I'm an honest person do you want me to tell you a fucking lie what i'm seeing oh this catfish and it's dead coming out next to it this t catfish don't worry about them they're just hiding a cute no they're hiding the fact that they're a fucking killer that's what the fuck they're hiding the fuck that's what the fuck it is <laughs> They can't handle the truth, ZH. They can't. You'd rather be warned, right, Empress? Me too. Tell me what the fuck is up. Me too. I ain't scared of shit. So, me too. Let me fucking know. Thank you. And thank you. Instead of me getting thank you, uh, you're scaring me. Uh, uh, you're reading it wrong. Or this doesn't, uh, this, this is not for, then go to another fucking channel. It's that fucking simple. Click click two 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 times you only have three click click next that's it <laughs> okay fucking people out here do you fucking so if you guys are planning to start your own fucking channel out there this is the shit that you're gonna deal with with stupid motherfuckers okay you rather know right me too me fucking too Okay. Hey, Stefan, thank you. Hey, Miro. Fuck. Tell me what's up. Tell me what the fuck is up. This is why I'm glad I do what the fuck I do, because I already know what's up. Motherfuckers think they be hiding shit from me. You ain't hiding shit from me at all. I know who watches me. I know who studies me. I know all that shit. I just shut the fuck up, though. Because why? What the fuck is... You don't need to know what the fuck I know. I know a lot of shit. Okay? And if I scare you, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the life. <laughs> this is the life. This is this is my this is what I'm here to do. <laughs> okay? I don't want to scare people, but this is what it is. Okay? That's why I don't want to channel don't have enough patience for that crazy people. Do it, sunshine. Do it. It's not about patience, right? Because the more the more we deal with people, it, it's you know you you gotta learn how to ignore but sometimes you can't ignore stupidity and ignorance right sometimes you can't ignore that shit you just gotta let motherfuckers know one good time that's it you're welcome baby hey what up don't get mad at the fucking messenger but that's what the fuck they do right or they want to they want to fit the storyline in their life. Somebody's going to say this doesn't apply to me. My life is going great. So, and your point? Well, other people's lives are not. And I feel that that's very a, a condescending ignorant statement to say when other people are suffering out there. But your life is not to today is today so your life could be going great to, today how about tomorrow motherfucker is it going to be going great as well so you need to learn it's like an arrogant some type of arrogance about people right tomorrow you could go outside and walk the street and get hit by a fucking truck is it great now so shut the fuck up fuck message exactly ybw exactly thank you immortal right it's like when people make statements like that it's like throwing pies in other people's face that's suffering oh my life this doesn't apply to me because my life is great my life is is x so fucking what and do did you need to even write that a person that's secure let me tell you something about people that's secure and know thyself they wouldn't even say nothing ignorant like that, knowing that 
other people out there are suffering and fucked up. They wouldn't even have to, if your life was going great, obviously it's not going that great if you have had to write that shit. Okay? Or maybe you were just scared of the fact that there is somebody out there that could kill your fucking ass and you're scared so you're rejecting what is being said. You don't have to claim anything. Okay? Thank you, Moti. Yeah. So, I mean, you didn't have to write that. You didn't have to write that. So what you trying to tell everybody else on here that needs the message? That you're better than everybody else? That's what you're trying to say with that statement? Go suck a dick and choke on it. How about that? Hey, Kayla. You know? It's true. It's true. Correct me if I'm right or wrong. When people make statements like that, obviously your life is not doing going that great. Obviously. And if it is going great, kudos to you. So fucking what? Nobody cares. Nobody fucking cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. How about that? Nobody cares. We don't even fucking know you. So if you die tomorrow, we don't care. <laughs> we don't care. Okay? Hey, what up, Rose Life? Hey, what up, Janae? Thank you, Latin. Want a cookie? What the fuck you want? Confetti? A fucking cake? Okay? A round of applause from everybody on there? He lucky I didn't leave that message uh, on there. He, she, whatever the fuck. Uh, the name was weird. I'm a Libra and the reading was scary because I was trying to link with the Pisces guy that was giving me red flags. After the reading, I was like, nah. You see, Immortal? You see? And it, thank you, uh, Latin. And it helped, and it helped Immortal out. Because she was giving, she was already seeing the red flags, but the video was confirmation to leave that motherfucker alone with his red flags. That's it. I'm saving lives out here. Do you understand? Again, you know how many, you know how many tarot readers I sit back and I fucking laugh? I don't say shit though, because they do, that's what they do. Yo, bro, sis, do your thing. I don't really give a fuck. You out here, do, do your thing. Right? But I respect the ones that keep it real. And tell you some real shit that you need to hear. Okay? I don't find that too often. I find most of them talk about love. And, oh yeah, this person, they're going to leave this person for you. Or they're going to... In some cases, yes. In some cases, no. Am I going to tell them that they're reading the cards wrong? No. Because they're, they're reading love messages. So they're interpreting it the way they fucking read it. That's their perception. Now, on me, looking from the outside looking in, that knows how to read tarot, I may read it differently. doesn't mean I'm going to go on the person's channel and say, why the fuck you pumping these people head up with bullshit? You're full of shit. You're reading the cards wrong. That's none of my fucking business. Do your thing, boo. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Thank you, Janae. Exactly, Mira Mira. Exactly. Five years later and the motherfucker still ain't come. Ain't that, what, ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? But I got another one for you. He's still coming. She's still, he's still coming. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope, guys. They still coming. <laughs> 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 right, Christina? It's true. It's true. Right, Brooklyn Miss? You know I'm you know I'm speaking facts here. You know I'm speaking facts, right? You know I'm speaking facts. <laughs> Thank you, unapologetic. I have my own fucking style. Everybody has their own fucking style. Okay? Everybody. Everybody is different. We were all yo, check I talk some real shit on my channel. We were all born differently. We all have different mindsets. We all think differently. I mean, if we were all the same, we would all be quite boring. Right? Yeah. I know I wouldn't like to date myself. I mean, how about you? Would you like to date yourself? I wouldn't want to date myself. No. 
I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Because with me, I need balance. I need somebody that's not so hot tempered like me. Okay. Because I go front. I could have a hot temper. Okay. Yes. Do you see people trying to rip off your style? No one comes close to you. Do I see people trying to rip off my style? Um, if they are, I mean, in the past I did, but if they are, I don't even pay attention to people anymore because you can't, you understand? Like you can't. So even if you try to, you can't, I'm not trying to be like everybody else, period. Uh, I have, I'm, I'm me. Okay, you do you, I do me. We just, we, it's just respecting each other's craft and talent, right? And what we're here to do. Just don't fucking overstep your boundaries with me. Stay in your fucking lane. That's it. And we good to go. Bitch, nigga, whoever the fuck you are. <laughs> now, what I do respect, how do you get a reading? I'm not doing any readings anymore. You are awkward. That gives us reality check when we need it. I'm always grateful. Even when you say something I wouldn't like to hear. But but that's the truth. My best friend is Aquarius too. You see Libra chick? But that's that's how it is, man. That's how it is, right? So, so therefore, okay. Everybody, listen. I respect people that come, come to other people and say, you inspired me. Thank you. I have people email me and tell me that they're inspired by me and give to give them pointers i had i had trust me i had cultures that you would never believe that you would think that they should know this shit that have come to me for help okay on how to grow their channel they're doing the same thing and i'm not a hater i let them know how to do the shit because we all here to eat what what secret i didn't know i didn't know you know learning something was a secret no when I looked at her channel, she does have the talent. She does. She's very talented in what she does. It's just that she wasn't getting her views. Now, you know, everybody, you know, you got some that's exciting reading. So you got some that's boring. Okay. I'm not sitting through no fucking dry, red eye reading. I, I, I need excitement. I need, you know, you got to keep my attention. I have ADHD. Okay. I get bored quickly. So, you know, you got you to gotta keep my attention. So if you're you're boring i'm gonna click off like okay this is not for me you already know automatically when you click on the video whether the video is for you or not or whether you want to stay and listen to it it's up to you the choice is yours <laughs> right but the key to it is each one teach one and we all help to here to help each other i don't look at i didn't look at her as competition or her trying to take my place she reached out to me for, through email and was just asking for assistance to grow her channel we do the same thing now you know other motherfuckers would have been like well you other motherfuckers wouldn't answer her or would have just like whatever right i'm not that type of person period I know I know my talents. I know what I, I know what I can do and I know what I can't do. Got it? But we're here we're all here to like help assist each other. Motherfuckers don't look at it that way. They look at it as competition. People only look at other people as competition where they're not secure in themselves. I'm gonna repeat that. People only look at other people as competition where they're not secure in themselves. Got it? I'm secure in myself. So you can't do what the fuck I do. And I can't do what you do. We have two different mindsets, two different perceptions. You, you're good at what you do. I'm good at what... And you know something? By her reaching out to me, right? That, that gave me... That, 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 that showed me like, wow. Okay. She respect my work. And she told me she did. You inspired me. I respect your work. Thank you. And I like, I like people like that. Right? So if you see somebody doing some good shit and great shit out there, like, yo, yo, they doing their thing out there, like, kudos to them, right? So if you're a rapper and that person's a rapper, and, you know, because we all was inspired by someone, right? What What is it hard to say, like, wow, you know, that person, YBW, yo, do it, yo, respect to you, YBW, you, you know, you inspire me. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. You're just giving credit where it's due. 
It's not, it's, it's, and that's, that goes to show, that goes to show a real person. That's a real motherfucker right there. What other haters do? They look for, they look for the littlest things to complain about. That nigga is whack. Or, look what that nigga is wearing. Look at what that bitch is wearing. Or, this, they look for a little, they look for any little thing just to complain about because they're not securing themselves. The hate. The hate is real out here. Niggas is drinking haterade all day, every day. Okay? They are. But the key to it is to protect your energies from these motherfuckers because they're not on your level. Period. They're not. And they never will be. Okay? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Kimia Babs. And then dog the day. The only one we can truly appraise is the most high. And we could do so by building each other up and acting in integrity. Exactly. Exactly. You see my life purpose? Nobody will understand my life purpose and what I'm here to do. Instead, again, in one of my other videos, I have mentioned my God system. Right? She's having problems with her own marriage. She's religious. Kudos to you. Good for you. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. There's a difference. If people don't understand it, it's a big difference. Okay? She called me just to tell me that I shouldn't be doing tarot and about my salvation. Is that what you called me for? Oh, I see your channel. She said, I see your channel going good. Blah, blah, blah. But I just hope you know that you're not supposed to be doing that according to the Bible. Listen. According to my life purpose and what I'm here to do and what I know I'm being called to do, you should mind your fucking business and shut the fuck up and worry about your old marriage and your financial affairs. Period. Okay? But that's the fucking shit about people. They want to talk shit that they don't fucking know about. It goes deeper than the fucking Bible. I could fucking really, I could really open your eyes, but not today. I don't feel like it. Okay? Exactly, Latin. People need to worry about their own fucking walk. Instead, they want to come and... So what the fuck you clocking my fucking channel for? Didn't I just promote your fucking sister? Her sister's a rapper. We call that secular music. Didn't I promote... Why the fuck are you promoting your sister and you're directing her and you're, you're, you're so holy or almighty? You shouldn't even be listening to that music. If we want to get technical... But who am I to tell you what to listen to or what to not, not to listen to? It's none of my fucking business. But I don't hate. I will promote my little god sister. Why not? Okay? Hypocrite. Exactly. That's exactly what we call them. A hypocrite. Okay? But those be the same ones. Those, let me tell you something. I was, I look, you know, I pass time. Sometimes I pass time and look at TikTok. There's a lot of funny shit on there. All right? I like to laugh. I saw a video where this guy, he had four parts. He followed his wife to a parking lot, uh, to a hotel. When his wife got out the car, he confronted the wife. What the fuck she doing at a hotel? She, this bitch dressed in hoochie shit. She had on the, the hoochie, you know, cut off top with, the, with the, the spandex and shit matching. She was like, what the fuck you following me here for? Ga, 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 ga. So he was like, what the fuck you doing at this hotel? He was like, come on, we're going to go together. What room is it? 312? Let's go. Right? Guess who the fuck she was meeting up with at the hotel to do prayer? The pastor. The pastor. This motherfucker was like, oh, it's the pastor? Did your, do your wife knows that you're meeting up with my wife to fuck? in this, like, pastor, how could, this is the shit that go on in the fucking churches. Eh! They don't talk about that shit, though, right? They don't talk about that shit. A lot of fucking hypocrites in the church, they sleeping with each other. They don't give a fuck at the church. But they just hold the title of the church to say that they're religious people or go to... Now, you have some people that's really, really, really into religion and, you know, shit like that, you know? Yeah, because, you know, they feel like, you know, they need to save their marriage or save their salvation or whatever the case may be. Or, you know, some people really need church that, you know... You know, they're on drugs and they need help. So they go back to church. But church is just a stepping stone. That's it. It's all part of the matrix. It's all part of mind control. 
I don't want to get into that shit. But again, the pastor, his wife was meeting at the pa- with the pastor, and the pastor had the nerve to tell the fucking husband that they were having a counseling session in a fucking hotel room. You having a counseling session, and he has a Magnum condom on the fucking bedside dresser. I tell you, this is the fucking world we live in. So if you want me to talk about, again, butterflies and rainbows and shit, <laughs> go to another fucking channel. Because this is the fucking world that we live in. You seeing that, right? You seeing that, right? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And we're still fucking lying. It was still fucking lying. <laughs> telling you. With liquor, yeah, with liquor and all that shit in the fucking room. With liquor and all that shit. Man, listen. Yo, false prophets, that's what they call them. And they have them in the Bible and this shit. If you just read the fucking Bible, the Bible is your manifestation book. You understand? If you just read the Bible, the, you'll learn, you, you open your eyes to a lot of shit. I love you too. You know? It's sad. Man, let me tell you something. I ain't killing nobody. I, I, I'm be honest with you. I ain't killing nobody for somebody else. I'm not. But in a situation like that, it's, it's like the principles of the matter. It's the, it's the principles, you know, because somebody, you know, some people feel like, and I'm not condoning death. I'm not condoning you murdering somebody. No, I'm not condoning that. But what I'm saying is that you hear stories of certain situations where people kill somebody, kill people, right? But in that situation is the principles of the matter because that man it was faithful to his wife. He was really hurt. You the pastor. We go to your church and shit like that. I know your wife. It's the principles of the matter. It's like, yo, it's the morals. Like, yo, what the fuck, yo? You fucking my wife? And then not only that, but you think of all the shit that you do with the person, like oral sex and all that shit, and you have some nigga, like some bitch. You, you be like, yo, the fuck, I'm killing both of y'all. Like, it, it's the principles. Like, what the fuck? You, you, you trying to play me like I'm fucking clowning and shit. So, I understand people sometimes when they just snap. You understand? <laughs> it be like that. It be like that sometimes. You know? And some people be like, yo, you know, it ain't worth killing somebody over somebody else. It's not, you, 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 it, it, it's not that. You see, you fail to realize it wasn't about killing somebody over somebody else. It's the principle of the matter, of the whole shit. When, especially when you're good to a person, right? You're not cheating. I, you know, we had, we, I mean, the, the pastor and his wife, it's like we're family, right? It, the guy, it's true. Right? The pastor. So the pastor, in other words, the pastor is supposed to lead the sheep, right? But lead the sheep, not fuck the sheep. Lead the sheep, nurture the sheep, grow the sheep. I didn't hear anything about fucking the sheep. Okay? It's the betrayal. There you go. It's the betrayal of it all. It's the fact that, like, somebody, oh, shit, like, yo, you, yo, how the fuck you did this shit to me? It's just the principles of the matter and shit, like, yo. Like, so, you know, some people get it twisted out there when they fucking get bodies and shit because they, they fucking, they, they, they fucking, fucking around and shit, you know? You know? Yeah, man, being stoned to death in the Old Testament, man, listen, being, yo, you're going to catch some, you're going to catch some hot ones, okay, only need one partner to catch something the doctor can't cure, I, that's how I feel about shit, I only need one partner, one good partner, we solid, okay, other than that, all I need is myself for now, that's it, just myself for now, when that time comes, when somebody comes into my life, then that person coming, we're going to be doing big things together. Other than that, I'm just, I'm setting my table. That's it. I'm the boss of my fucking table. I'm the boss of my fucking life. You can't tell me shit. Period. These pastors can't even lead their own household. Ain't no pastor leading ish over here. Exactly, St. Marquis. But this is what I'm saying. So once I seen what it was all about, I mean, I have videos on that shit. I want to talk about it. But once I seen what it's all about... I wake it to my truth and you know I was getting a lot of dreams and downloads and and this is where I'm at now at this point in my life so you know to explain to explain to 
closed-minded people that's still unawakened, it will be a waste of my fucking breath. I don't have to explain shit to you, and I don't have to explain why the fuck I'm doing what I'm doing with my life. I don't have to explain shit to nobody. The only person I have to answer to is God. That's it. My maker. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so if you don't like what the fuck I'm doing, and if you read a book and say that the Bible says, then we have nothing to talk about. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business. Okay? Yo, you know what else I hate about people? I hate the people that is in a fucked up relationship. Right? This is why I tell people you can't confide in people and tell people your business. Because people are just fucking nosy. It's not like they care. They just fucking nosy. They just want to know what's up. Right? So I hate a motherfucking bitch, nigga, whatever. That's in a fucked up relationship. Karmic, abusive, whatever. And they're going to try to give you relationship advice. How about you stop putting that makeup over that black fucking eye and get rid of that nigga that been beating your ass for over 10 years? How about that before you come and tell me what the fuck to do with my life? Okay? Nosy as fuck. Motherfuckers that don't got shit. Or a motherfucker, or a broke motherfucker, telling you what to do with your money. Last I knew, you couldn't even lend me a dollar. So how the fuck you gonna tell me what to do with my fucking money? These are people that's concerned about the wrong fucking things, instead of being concerned about the real shit or their own fucking life and what they're going through. It's true. It's true. Yeah, pocket watching and shit. What the fuck you want to do? Pat me down too? Why are you concerned about what I'm buying, motherfucker? Can you, bag a, can you buy a bag of fucking chips right now? No, you can't, so shut the fuck up. Or... Why are you eating that? Because I feel like fucking eating it. Why are you fucking watching what's in my mouth and what the fuck I'm eating? Why? Because you starving and you can't buy what the fuck? N nigga, all you had to say was that you fucking hungry. The fuck? Like they doing you a discernment by telling you what to put in your fucking body. You shouldn't be eating that. You should mind your fucking business. I eat what the fuck I want to eat. Okay, well, when that day comes, I'll handle it. That's how you got to do to people. When they counteract, when they try to counteract to justify what they say, over talk them. Okay, because you're not paying them any of mine. You're not paying any. That's it. When they try to justify what they say, just talk over them. Okay, because, well, I, uh, yeah, that's it. And they'll shut the fuck up. That's it. That's all you gotta do. You know, because motherfuckers get you there sometimes. They take you there. Why? And then some people, they just say shit just to say shit. It don't even fucking make sense. You be like, where that come from? Miserable ass motherfuckers, yo. Miserable ass mother. Why you drinking? Sounds like you need a drink to me. You want me to fix you one? <laughs> okay. Make you feel better. And while you fix them one, put some fucking sleeping pills in that shit so they could shut the fuck up and go to sleep. That's why I love being single at times. Because I don't have to talk when I don't want to talk. That's it. I love my peace. 
I love my peace. I'm not really, like literally a big talker. So, you know, you know, sometimes don't you be sitting there if you're in a relationship and your partner just keep talking, talking, and you're trying to watch a movie or you're trying to concentrate on something and in your mind, you just like, shut the fuck up already. Shut up. Shut up. I'm trying to watch the fucking movie here. I'm trying to do something here. You keep fucking running your mouth. Shut the fuck up. Or just talk about nonsense. Like, yo, get out of here, yo. You know what I hear? You know what I hear when people start talking? Sometimes, I ain't gonna front. It's wrong. And you know how you, it's wrong to do it. But you know what I hear? I hear blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yes, word up. But I ain't hearing shit. <laughs> I ain't hear the fucking thing that you just said. I'm just saying yes and word up. <laughs> you just zone the fuck out. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yada yada yada. Yeah. Yo, yo, you be you be thinking about real shit, man. I gotta pay this, I gotta pay that, I gotta yo, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And they wanna talk about some stupid shit. Like, what do we eat? You know what I hate? When I was in a relationship when, you know, long time ago, right? The question, what are we eating? What do you, what do you want to eat? What are we eating? I don't know. And then if I answer, I don't know, whatever you want to eat. Yeah, but you know, didn't I just fucking say whatever you want to eat? I don't really give a fuck about food right now. I'm thinking about my bread. I'm thinking about some real shit right now. And you want to talk to me about fucking food? Fuck food. If you're hungry, get whatever the fuck you want. That's what that means. Do you, nigga. I'll eat something when I'm fucking ready. I could eat a cup of noodle soup and be happy. I don't really give a fuck about that shit right now. I said whatever, and you still asking me the same fucking question. Okay? It's whatever. That's it. I'm simple. Okay? I'm simple. <laughs> All right, I want some tacos. All right, go ahead. Order some tacos. Order me that when you while you at it. Fuck it. That's it. I'm simple. Okay? Other motherfuckers. So, if the question was reversed, right? And I hate these about motherfuckers. If the question was reversed, right? And they ask you, what do you feel like eating? And you say, oh, okay, I feel like eating, I don't know, lasagna. Uh, you know, oh, or, uh, and they say, whatever you want to eat. And I say, okay, well, lasagna. <sighs> I don't feel like lasagna. So then what the fuck did you ask me the fucking question for if you don't feel like fucking eating that shit? That's stupid shit too. That's that stupid shit too. That you just be like, then why the, how the fuck do we get here? Then why the fuck did you ask me if, just shut the fuck up. These are things that you just be like, do, 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 do. You feel like you're in a Jeopardy game and shit like, Twilight Zone, like, yo. And then they think that you bugging. They think you're the crazy one. But they didn't listen to themselves. They don't fucking listen to themselves. Okay? Fuck. Hate that shit. Listen, when I was growing up, I don't know about you guys, we didn't have, we didn't have, you know, parents that asked us, what do we want to eat? They just cook the fucking food, and if you don't want it, Go brush your teeth and take your fucking ass to bed. That's it. They not asking you, well, kids, what are we eating today? And we were like, oh, yeah, we want this. We want. No, we didn't have that privilege growing up. Even if the food is shit, you look at the food, I don't want it. You could be starving. <laughs> well, go the fuck to bed then. <laughs> I didn't grow up on McDonald's and Chinese food and all that bullshit. No, we didn't have an option. There you go. We didn't have a fucking option. I don't know what it is these days with fucking people and people giving kids or whatever options. Fuck out of here. That's another fucking thing. Yo. That's the fucking old school. Yo. Word up. Hey, Michelle. What up? Yeah. 
McDonald's was a special occasion. Well, then if it was a special occasion, we never had that special occasion until we got older and shit and we had our own money and could buy that fucking shit. Now, my kids, on the other hand, they were like raised differently because I thought differently. You know, I didn't think the same way. I didn't raise my kids the same way. And still ask, yo, fuck yo. Like, seriously, guys, if you guys are looking for a relationship, was raised by a Gemini. In fact, my grandmother was a Gemini. She don't give a fuck. Okay, she's still alive. My grandmother is 97. When I tell you she have her, she have her sense of mind, and she still curse you the fuck out. My grandmother used to beat bitches ass. That's what she told me. My grandfather, he have kids on her and shit. I don't know. I couldn't do it. I don't know about you guys out there. They're old school, like back home kind of shit, where my grandfather used to beat my grandmother's ass, have kids on her. That nigga would have been dead. Dead, dead. Tell you, he would have been dead. <laughs> dead, dead. Okay? My grandmother used to be beating bitches' ass up because she said that there was one particular lady that had three kids. Three kids by my grandfather that used to come to the house and, like, fuck with her. And she said she beat that bitch ass so bad and shit that her that, you know, I was like, yo, grandma, I ain't rumbling for no nigga that ain't worth it. You beating my ass and then I gotta beat a bitch ass that he had kids with? What the fuck? What? That don't make any fucking sense. No. Mm -mm. I'm only beating a bitch ass if she disrespect me. My grandfather, he would have been dead. He would have been dead, dead. Trust and believe that. Back in the days, they didn't have fucking poisoning. You cook every fucking day. Make a pot of soup and put some fucking cyanide in that shit. They would have said that he died of natural causes and shit. Cyanide, motherfucker, is not like you needed him any fucking way. And it freeze. Some fucking shit in his fucking food. <laughs> hey, Eleanor. I need this channel. Good to listen to people similar to me, even if it's not tarot. Exactly, Willie. I mean, let me tell you. Hey, what up, Aunt Got Juice? Let me tell you something. And I'll, I'll be got honest truth, right? This is why it's called old school thinking, old school because back in the days, you know, usually people, they, they were raised a certain way, so they feel like that's structure, right? We call it structured because that's society, how society wants us to live, structured, right? If we break the rules, we're called rebellious, right? No, it's not called rebellious. It's called free thinking. That's why we was all born with free will, right? So, you know, hey, yo, yeah. Oh, hey, your grandmother stabbed, stabbed your grandfather Christmas Eve. They got divorced. My grandmother stabbed my grandfather, too, in the hand and shit. He tried to raise his hand to her. But in America, in America, when they came to America and shit like that, you know, that, 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 story, that story lasted for centuries. That story ne never let up. Oh, your grandmother. Yeah, you, she stabbed She should have stabbed you in your fucking throat. Okay? When you went like this, she should have went like that. That's it. Okay? Yes, rest in peace, your fucking ass. That's it. But she stabbed you in your fucking hand, and you want to cry about that at all the years that you were beating up my fucking grandmother? Fuck out of here. Shit. Tosh, I love your lies more than your readings. You took like hey, right life issues during your lives. Sometimes I just need to hear knowledge like this. Yo, what up, Black Acre, White Acre? Yo, I'm, I'm a real motherfucker, yo. I am. Okay? I am. Let me see. V says something. I'm part of the last generation who knows what it's like to play outside and grow up without dependency on the internet and technology. Same here. I didn't grow up with no fucking cell phone and but shit like that. We grew up playing double dutch, freeze tag, tag, red light, green light, and shit like that. Okay? Ring around the roses. Whatever the fuck we came up with. Throwing rocks at each other. Dirt pies. <laughs> okay? Yes. That's how the fuck I grew up. All right? We had to come up with our own fucking games. I didn't seek. That could get kind of fucking dangerous. Okay? <clears throat> so, you know, that's what it is. You know, now now these days, everybody depend on the fucking internet. We had, uh, we didn't have cell phones. We had pay phones. Like, when I was growing up, it was like a lot of pay phones all around and shit. Crack vials. Because I grew up in the hood. Crack vials and shit. Projects. You know, it was a fucking mess. But I, I don't regret my upbringing. No cell phone. 
no cell phone. Now in these days, we leave our cell phone home. It's like, because why? We pro, it's a program. We program our minds like, oh shit, I need my cell phone. I bet you guys, if you guys have ever left your cell phone or broke your cell phone or whatever, you guys can't live without your cell phone. You guys be, you guys will get sick. Like, oh shit, my cell phone. I need my cell phone. Oh my God, my cell phone. Oh my, how could I leave my cell phone? You'll be fucking sick. <laughs> You'll be sick. But if we didn't have cell phone, you wouldn't worry about that, right? So it's all about programming the mind and reprogramming the mind. So they're always programming the mind. This is society, okay? It's to understand what it's about. Man, we was tough as fuck growing up them days. Exactly, Nymira. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And I'm still fucking tough. I'm still fucking tough. It's just now these days, I'm just a little bit laid back and shit and just minding my fucking business. But when people fuck with me, it's a different fucking story. Okay? I'm just learning how... I'm learning, I'm learning not to... I'm trying to learn how to ignore bullshit at this time. This is part of my ascension process. I'm learning how to ignore bullshit. Everyone talks about how good the old days were, but really I escaped like at least three or four kidnapping attempts and got molested in kindergarten. The old days weren't that good. Oh, wow, the real Anthony. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the real one. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, you see what you say about kidnapping and shit like that? That's some real shit, right? That's some real shit. This is real life shit. And still, people to these days are getting kidnapped. Yes. You know? That's some real shit. But, you know, people people are so fucking close-minded and naive, gullible, that they don't, they don't think it could ever happen to them. Right? Because they, they, they created this fictitious world that everything is beautiful. Well, sweetheart, I'm sorry to burst your bubble again. Not everything is beautiful. Okay? I'm protective of my kids too. Yeah, sex trafficking. Oh, the black kids are right now is missing in Ohio. See, I haven't even read about that. I'm going to write, I'm going to read about that though. Now they got this shit about putting dollar bills on the floor or under the gas pump. Dollar bills. And they're putting a substance on the dollar bill. So that way when you pick it up, you start feeling off and shit. Gotta pay, you gotta pay attention to your surroundings. People are fucking naive and gullible. They see a dollar. Oh shit, a dollar. Oh my god, my luck. Let me step on it with my right foot. Let me step on it before I pick it up. Next thing you know, you're like... Waking up in somebody fucking van and shit for that fucking dollar. Fuck that dollar. <laughs> no. Oh, the Atlanta child murders. I remember that shit. You think that nigga really did that shit? I think that nigga really did that shit, yo. Yeah, man. So you gotta pay attention, man. You gotta pay attention to your surroundings, man. That's what the fuck I talk about. Like, like being on cue and shit. Instincts, in intuitions and shit. But I grew up at an early age. I, I already had that shit. My instincts, my instincts, I don't fucking play with people, okay? But at this time now, I'm in my 40s, so I just lay back and chill. But I don't fucking play. Yo, what up, Netherlands? Yo, I want to go to the Netherlands. I heard they have some, like, beautiful men out there. Is that true? <laughs> oh, you grew up about an hour and a half from ATL? Yeah, man. Oh, so... <laughs> my next trip, I don't know where I'm going to go, but somebody... A lot of people have been telling me to come to Texas. Okay, come to Texas, Dallas specifically. Okay, yo, what up, anonymous? We gotta go to Amsterdam. I wanna go to Amsterdam. I wanna go to Amsterdam. Okay, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Wasn't Jack the Ripper from Amsterdam? That was it. <laughs> Wasn't he over there and shit? <laughs> Houston is better. Yeah, man. So, Houston? All right. I got a, I got, I got, I got a, I got a, um, yo, what, what up, Poppin' pop? Yo, where the fuck you been? If you come here, down here to Texas, wait until after the hurricane season. Extremely hot right now. Oh, so you're in Texas. Okay. 
You're in Texas. Yeah, so a lot of people been telling me to come to Texas. Shout out Texas. I got to visit Atlanta too. A lot of people been telling me go to Atlanta and shit. Houston is better than Amsterdam? Oh, you're asking that question. Come to New Zealand. New Zealand. Hmm. Okay. Las Ve Another thing, yeah, Las Vegas too. Las Vegas too. So they've been asking me about Las Vegas, uh, Texas, Atlanta, and I definitely got to go to Europe, okay? When I was seven, I saved a four-year-old girl from getting molested. Now she's married to my friend. Hey, oh, sure. Look at that. You saved a seven-year-old girl from getting molested. Houston popping right now? Okay, I got I to gotta figure out Houston. Yeah, I got to figure out Houston. It's a lot of impossibles in the South. Impossibles or... What do you mean is a lot of impossible? Oh, my followers? Like, you talking about I'm, my followers? Yeah, there's a lot of my followers is from the South, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, yo, today's your birthday. Happy birthday, Rebecca. What is this? This is cancer season? Yo, what up, yo? What up, you emotional bitch? What up? It's cancer season, guys. It's cancer season. There's a cancer in the house. What up? <laughs> what up, you... Yo, <laughs> you know I gotta fuck with you, right? <laughs> oh shit, Mobile, Alabama. Hey, yo, what up, Mobile, Alabama? Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Emotional motherfuckers out there. Yo, it's emotional cancer season, yo. It's cancer season, yo. <laughs> Jekyll and High season. This is Jekyll and High for real, for real. You know them some moody motherfuckers. You know you moody as fuck, right? <laughs> One minute they nice, next minute they fucking poisoning your fucking ass and shit. <laughs> happy birthday to. Come on, everybody. Let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Cancer. Happy birthday to you, Crab. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Moody. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Yo, what up, Chiquita? Paris turned into teachers, not acting like Paris. Exactly. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Yo, drum roll, please. Roll out the carpet. Roll out the carpet, man. Yo, I got to do cancer reading, man. You emotional motherfuckers out there. What you all been up to? What you all been up to? I'm wildin'. Yo. Yo, this is what it's all about, man. It's all about having fun and having a good time, man. Tasha, come to Virginia? Okay. Come to Baltimore? Oh, my uncle lives in Baltimore. You can't? <laughs> Yo, yeah, it's all about, it's all, yo, it's all about having fun, man. People be having a stick up their ass and shit. Like, yo, go about your business, okay? Go about your business and take the stick out. Hey, Peggy. Yeah, happy birthday, man. How many cancers in the house? This, I forgot it's cancer season. <laughs> I forgot it's cancer season, man, because I have Scorpio next. I have Aries, Scorpio, and I got to pick one more. I think I'm going to do Gemini. Oh, I'm having a meetup in September. Okay, Natasha, in September. It's saying it's kind of funny saying my own name. Natasha Brown, Natasha, Tasha, Ta. But you know what? Natasha, let me ask you a question, right? Can you put your full name, right? Have you ever cuz me grow I don't even know how many people out there that your parents gave you a name but they call you anything other than that fucking name? Because when I was growing up, I was called anything but Natasha. They only called me Natasha when they was fucking upset with me. But it's Tasha, Tosh, Ty, <coughs> Nat. Yeah, they call me everything but Natasha. Kind of fucking weird. I don't even know what... I don't even know why you name a child a name and you're going to abbreviate that shit. Okay? So how do you abbreviate Amy? Me? <laughs> Yeah, this shit is crazy. <laughs> hey, what up, Scorpio? Yeah, man, Scorpios, you guys are going through some shit. You see, your mom, your mom has never called you Megan. Your nickname was Tats. You see what I'm saying? They call you Linda, and your name is Patrice. <laughs> 
Where they get that shit from? Yo, yo, it's like, yo, yo, yo. This reminds me of power. It, it reminds me of power. Um, with that little nigga. What's that little nigga that killed his father? Uh, Tyree. With the with the lawyer. They call him Nancy. <laughs> You better stop with me, Nancy, before I tell everybody that they call you Nancy. <laughs> Didn't they kill his fucking ass? <laughs> that lawyer? Didn't they kill his fucking ass? <laughs> Nancy? <laughs> You're gonna come to the meetup? Yo, come, man. Yo. I'm crazy. I get confused on what to call myself sometimes. Okay? I get confused. NC, North Carolina, I used to live there. That's why I be calling myself Tasha, Tosh, Ty. I don't even fucking care what you guys call me. Nobody ever calls me Natasha unless they know me. I feel like this, guys. I don't even know how you feel about things, but don't call me fucking Tasha or Tosh if we not cool. No. Call me Natasha. Don't call me Tasha or Tosh because we not fucking cool like that. Okay? I'm sorry. I mean, it's a line of respect, okay? That's a nickname. Call me Natasha, all right? Yes. It may feel kind of weird or funny to me, but we not cool like that for you to be. You know, you ever met, you ever met, oh, that's another thing. You ever met somebody that's overly friendly, that they think that they know you for years and shit? Like, yo, what up, bitch? What up, nigga? You be like, and where do I know you from again? <laughs> <laughs> like you talking to me like we ace bull coons like we 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 just like we go back like forever <laughs> tasha's for coast that's what i'm trying to tell you that's what i'm trying to tell you they call me ty yeah i hate people like that i hate people that get too comfortable too quickly with me dude bitch i don't fucking know you like that like for you to be coming to me like we just like the best of friends and shit. I'm not a friendly person like that. So, yeah. Like we go back to kindergarten. And I hate that fucking shit, Poppy Pop. I hate that shit. You know? Or a motherfucker that try to get too close to you too quickly. Yo, what the fuck you in my yo, what the fuck you in my ass for? Why are you all up in my ass like that? Yo, go about your I hate people like that. Like it, 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 you know, this is the red flags you got to pay attention to with people when they try to get too close too fast. Nah. Or another thing. Yeah, that's sus, right? Another thing that you got to pay attention to when people try to tell you all their fucking business. When people try to tell you all their business and you're quiet, that's because they want to know your fucking business. So they feel like them telling their business to you is going to make you tell them, tell, tell you, tell them your business. Don't fall into that trap. Just listen to the bullshit and be like, yeah, all right, okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? My name is Mo, but people call me Momo or, Mo or Modi. Okay, not Moody, Modi. Okay. Yeah, they be real thirsty and shit, you know? Like trying to, like, trying to, like, play mental games with you like you fucking stupid. Like, yo, get away from me, man. I don't even like people. Why the fuck are you here? Like, yo, you fucking with my energy feel right now. You fucking with my energy feel. All right? Out of here. Okay? Oh, another thing, guys. I'm going to give you a secret, right? I have a lot of haters, especially when I used to work at the job. Right? When a, when a girls, when girls talk about you or they don't like you, just simple. Say, I know you don't like me. You're in love with me. Yeah, <laughs> they'll feel some kind of way about that shit. Like, what? You heard me. You don't like me. You're in love with me. I understand. I understand that you understand that I don't feel the same way that you feel about me. Maybe in time, it can get there. But for uh, right now, I don't feel the same way about you. But I understand that you're in love with me. It's okay. It happens. I have a lot of people that's in love with me. <laughs> you... <laughs> Yo, right, Tizzy Torres? Yo, right, Tizzy Torres? Because that crush their soul when you do shit like that. Like, yeah, I said it. I know. I know what time it is. I know. 
Yeah, that's right, V. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. And some of them, exactly. Exactly. And some of them, yeah, exactly. Okay? I know you're in love with me. It's okay. <laughs> I know you want me, baby. I, but you know something? I don't go that way. Maybe if I did, it, things would be different. But I don't. So it, really could, it could never be. It just could never be. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yes. Uh huh. I remember back in the days when a person was staring too hard, like I told you today in T Mobile, when, when motherfuckers are staring too hard at you and shit. You were like, yo, what the fuck you looking at? You want me to kiss you or something? You know? You got, you got, first it's like, you got a fucking problem? You want to kiss or something? You looking at me like, yo, you fucking like me or something like you. <laughs> Maybe in the next lifetime. Not in this one. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Yo, back in the days, yo, I don't even know about this era. Back in the days, we was thorough, man. We was thorough. We was thorough. We was thorough. I remember I, I had a fight with this girl. And I'm going to tell you something. Never underestimate people and their size. Never, ever underestimate people and their size. I had a fight with this girl. She was like this, right? That girl gave me a run for... That girl was strong as fuck. That girl gave me a run for my money that we had two fights. The second fight was... It was on site. It was on site. That I had to fucking body slam this fucking girl. Yo, this bitch was tough as fuck. <laughs> so when you see somebody... Let me tell you something. Don't ever underestimate their adrenaline and their... It was like a will. It was like a will to survive. This bitch was tough. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh man. Yes. Those was those was the days. Those was the days. At the <laughs> Yeah, I body slammed this fucking bitch, yo. She was <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and she was still coming. I, yo, I had to put my body weight on the bitch and shit until they fucking broke us up. <laughs> bitch was fucking tough, though. Bitch was tough. So never underestimate people on their size, okay? That's number one, all right? Number two, the person with the biggest bark don't know how to fucking fight because I ain't talking about shit. You ever heard a person, they talk shit. Me, I'm just gonna watch you. They be talking mad shit. Yeah, bitch, what up, bitch, I fuck. Just stay, yo, just look at their body language. Just look at them. Just look, don't say shit to them. <laughs> you know, don't say shit. You be like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, so those motherfuckers that be talking like loud bullshit, yo, out of here, okay, out of here. Like, just let them talk. Uh, just don't, as long as you don't cross a certain line. Number three, everybody has, everybody has a button. Pay attention to me. Everybody has a button. Just be careful you don't say or do the wrong thing to press the wrong button. Got it? <laughs> I'm talking facts here. Okay? I'm talking facts. All right? So, yeah. Facts. Stay above their eyebrows. And it's true. It's true. I am not saying shit. I'm not saying shit. I'm not talking that loud shit. I have, you know, but you know something? And if you're going to talk, if you're going to talk that shit, be about that shit. Run that shit. Run it. Do it. Because, quite frankly, my mind, the way it works, it works like a serial killer. <laughs> It does. Although I don't act on my impulses, but it does. Okay? I'm very calculated. Yes. Alright? 
Yeah, run that shit. Run that shit like you run your fucking mouth. What what the fuck we doing talking here? Ain't no fucking talking. Let me tell you something. And don't make threats. Don't ever, ever, ever make threats that you can't fucking back up. I'm not threatening no fucking body. At all. That's not what I do. <laughs> yeah. Nah, because you know, you be hearing people talk shit like, yo, shut the fuck up. Just shut up. People get on my nerves with that bullshit. Like, yo. That's why I stay out of people's... I just stay out of the way. Oh my God, serial killer? Yeah. I like to watch serial killer shit. You know, I always wanted... Let me tell you something. If you didn't know, I always wanted to be a detective, FBI agent, to, to search for serial killers. Yes. You know? All that shit, dead bodies and people cutting people, that shit don't scare me. I, I, got a, I got a strong stomach and a strong fucking mind. So I could sit down and eat and look at guts and blood and shit like that. It's just who the fuck did this fucking disgusting shit, yo. Right? Who did this? So I studied that. I, went, I even went to college. I didn't finish, but I went to college for that. Yep. Exactly, Charles King. Allow my fool always exposes himself. All bark, no bite. Yes, a thorough motherfucker ain't gonna say shit. You just gonna be seeing black and going to your father. That's it. Fucking around with the wrong person. <laughs> Doesn't apply it. Not for you. <clears throat> yeah, my whole life I've wanted to beat plenty of motherfuckers. Probably must bad temper, so I keep calm, but it takes self. It is. I've been real quiet lately, protecting my peace, like you said. You have to. <clears throat> you ain't loud until you're on your way. I'm telling you. <clears throat> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I done popped up on so many people, it's not even fucking funny. Okay? I could have fucked around and got myself hurt, but I used to pop up at people's house. Yes. <laughs> okay? Like, yo, let's do this. Ain't no more talking. Ain't no more talking. Ain't no more talking. Like, yo, what the fuck are we talking about? I'm on my way. I remember the last ter I remember the last person I told I was on my way. This motherfucker thought I was joking. This bitch thought I was joking. I was definitely on my way. And when I got on my way and outside, this bitch tried to cop a plea. Then what the fuck did I come all the way here for for us to talk? You did enough talking over the fucking phone. I'm here now. Come outside. Then her fucking aunt wants to talk to me and shit. Oh, Tasha, come in. I'm not coming inside. Come outside. <laughs> That's back in the day shit, though. I used to be wild. Not anymore, guys. Not anymore. I don't do shit like that no more. Hey, what up, Cece? Yeah, man, because, you know, people be talking, they be talking a good one and shit. Like, yo, like, you're not going to fucking see them and shit. Like, you some fucking pussy-ass, punk-ass motherfucker. I don't know, man. That's why I tell people all the time, be mindful of how you talk to people or what you say to people because you're going to get the right motherfucker one day. You're going to get the right motherfucker one day. <clears throat> yeah, popping up. I used to pop up. I'm on the love train, y'all, for real, the love train. <laughs> Yo, and, um, yeah, I just, just because we grew up differently. I grew up differently. We all grew up differently. You understand? So anybody that knows me knows I'm not with the shit. I'm with the shits. I'm not with bullshit, yo. I'm not. I'm not. Okay? No more fights for me. Unless I have to defend myself no more. I stay in my crib. I come and go like in silence and shit. I ain't got too much to say to people and shit. Just don't fucking bother me. How to deal with the co-workers that give the silent treatment? Fuck them. That's how you deal with them. Fuck you want to talk to them any fucking way. They're not your fucking friends. They're co-workers. Like you said, that's the fucking key word. So the fuck you want to befriend them for? Fuck them. Yeah, man. A 
guy tested me recently made me realize how far I've come because the old me would have whipped him upside his head, but I'm trying not to go to jail. Let me tell you something, Alicia, about that. So I was seeing this guy, right, out of town, right? And some shit happened. I'm, I'm not going to get, but some shit happened, right? He waited till I get all the way there so he could, he could kick me out. Let me tell you something. I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. Like, I thought the same thing. But in that situation, you got to be smart because I was somewhere else. And I said, yo, I got to get the fuck out of here because I'm not trying to get locked up out of town. So I got to get the fuck out of here. So this is what we call pussy motherfuckers that make you travel. They, they know that they, there's some bullshit that happened between me and him. But they get you in their comfort zone, right? To make they feel like they have the upper hand and shit, not knowing that you the type of motherfucker that will hurt them in their own fucking crib. But then you got to be smart about shit. Is they really worth it? It wasn't really worth it. Yeah, that's what the fuck it is. That's a corny motherfucker right there. He was corny. He still is corny to me. If you ask me, any girl that get with him, that nigga is whack. But that's dead. That's up to them to figure that shit out. <clears throat> yeah, so what people do is like they try to get you, like they try to corner you and shit in their territory thinking that that's, that shit doing something. But let me tell you something. Me, I think differently. I think I'm a survivalist, so I think about my, I look at, first of all, when you enter anybody's apartment, I don't give a fuck who it is. You can feel the vibes out, right? You can feel it right away. Remove yourself, right? However, if you decide to stay or whatever, when you enter somebody's apartment, look at everything. Look around. Look around. Like, where's this? Where's that? Where's this? The exit? This, that, that, that. Like that. Because motherfuckers be acting up sometimes and me i'm the type of person that is either me or you and it's not gonna be me today motherfucker it's not okay so in order that's why i always tell people if you feel something follow your intuitions if you feel something that's not right remove yourself yo i forgot something i gotta go don't go back yes look for your exit look for your exit okay Hey, Mary Baines. They have hidden... They have all type of shit. All type of shit. And let me tell you something. I don't know about you. I don't like people walking behind my back. I don't. Like, people walking up too close to me and shit like that. This is why I tell people, you can have your headphones on, but leave one off. Always pay attention to your surroundings and shit. I don't like people walking up on me. I turn around real quick. Like, fuck. The fuck is wrong with you? You know? Like, they on your heels and shit. I don't like that. Okay? I don't like it. Or you could see the shadow behind you. Look on the floor and you see the shadow behind you and shit. You know? Yes. I even pay attention to cars and shit. I pay attention to every fucking thing. Everything. Every fucking thing. Hey, Richard. I'm drinking right now. It's, it's a Sunday. You the same way, right, Queenie? I, I look at every fucking thing. Everything. Okay? In the groceries, any fucking where. Any fucking where. Okay? Any fucking where. Okay? I remember I was in California. Um, this was a few years ago. Uh, I believe it was 20, 2021 or 2020. I went for my great, uh, my great, great aunt's birthday, 100th birthday. And um, she lives in San Francisco. And I had left my cousins and shit at the nail salon, right? So I said, yo, I'm going back to the crib. They said, all right. What happened to me, I had got lost. I forgot which block I turned that we, we left from, okay? So I turned down the wrong block. 
There was this guy. He was across the street. Dread. Talking about. Hey. Come here, love. Come here. I ain't paying him no fucking money. I was going to ask him for directions. But you see, again, I'm very wise. So by him telling me, come here, right? It wouldn't be wise of me to ask him for directions because then he would know I was lost. See? So he would have the upper hand. So I just kept walking. This motherfucker was walking with me. Across the street, walking with me. So what I did was double back. I turned around. Once I noticed that he was walking with me and there's nobody fucking on the street, I doubled back. And then cut down another block. <laughs> it sent me further off. Right? Guess what? This guy, when I looked, he was still walking with me. He came, he doubled back with me. I said, oh, shit. I called my cousin, uh, one of my cousins that was already in the crib, and I told her, yo, I don't know what block I'm on, but something told me knock on somebody's door, right? So I, I went to a house that was, it just was like one, California is weird. It was just like one house, and I knocked on the door, and a lady, thank God, a lady came out, and I was like, excuse me, miss. I'm looking, so I was talking to her, so she was like, I never heard, I've been living here, she said, I've been living here for like a year, and I never heard of that block, how the fuck have you been living here for a year, and you never, people in California is weird, so I, at the same time, I had my cousin on the phone, my cousin said, tell me the blocks that you're on, I said, I said, what is your street map, she said, I'm this and that, she said, I'm, come, I'm on my way to come and get you, and she drove and got me, but that guy was right there, you understand, <clears throat> so, like again you got to be wise about things and, and wise because i'm in another state you understand like i don't know san francisco or california like that i'm just like and and guess what once she showed me how to get back in the car it was right there it was right there hey what up nicole but you got to be wise about how you interact with people and what you say to people because Again, if I would have told that guy, like, I'm looking for this block, and he's already trying to, like, holler at me, like, hey, come here, you know, and he's following me. I'm like, yo, this is a fucking weirdo, yo, like, I'm going to hurt this fucking guy. Let me knock on this door. Because, see, me, I get in defensive mode because now you're following me and you're creeping to me the fuck out, and I'm somewhere I don't know where the fuck I'm at, okay? Yeah, you got to keep your wits for sure, but you got to also be mindful and wise about the decisions that you make. Okay, because he, we, it was nobody fucking, it was crazy. It was nobody out there. Yeah, you got to go with your intuition and pay attention to your surroundings. Listen to your gut. And my gut told me this motherfucker is crazy. And sure enough, he was following me. Okay. I just had a concert. Oh, she, a lady walking bumped me. I went off on her. She went and hide until I got on line. She was at the end of the line. Tabitha. This is this is not the time to be arguing with people. I'm telling you now. She bump you like is she? Cause you got people that deliberately do shit. But you know, did she say sorry or excuse me? Because you got some rude motherfuckers that don't say that shit too. You'd be like, excuse you, you know? Cause I used to be like that too. Or you know, people like trying to cut in front of you in the fucking line and don't say shit. Like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? But if you can. Again, we're in retrograde. If you can't avoid arguments with people and shit like that, try to avoid it. When this nigga told me I had to pay for my phone today, I was so pissed. But at the same time, I didn't want to get in an argument over uh, over pettiness. Okay, because it's not petty to me. It wasn't. It, it wasn't petty. It would be justifiable because I would make my point. Like, why do I have to pay for a phone that I have insurance on already? You guys showed me in a. De uh, you guys gave me a defective phone, right? that's malfunctioning so why do i have to pay for it when i'm already paying insurance on the fucking phone i could have got into an argument and i would have made my fucking statement with him like yo because i stand my ground i don't give a fuck but at the same token i was in a situation where i need a phone i don't feel like arguing with people especially when i have the fucking money to do so okay but again if i didn't have the money if I didn't have the money, ladies and gentlemen, the conversation would have went different. <laughs> I ain't go front the con like the conversation would have went different. If I didn't have the money, the conversation would have went different, and it wouldn't went something like this. Why do I have to pay for the phone? But why? Every other, every everything that he said to me today would have been why. But why? Because I could get ignorant like that. <laughs> I don't know about you all, because I, I could get ignorant like that. Okay. I do I can I can I could get very ignorant I can okay and I and I'll stand my I stand my ground and I'll be adamant about not paying the fucking shit if I didn't have it 
Cause I just don't fucking have it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna be straight up and say I don't have it. If the situation was differently today, and he said, "Well, you know, you're gonna have to pay," I'm be like, "Why I have to pay for the phone? I don't. Well, I don't have it. But why? But I pay insurance. So why do I pay insurance? Okay, that doesn't make sense. That's me. <laughs> make it make sense though. Make it make sense. But why do I pay for insurance? That's me. I, I, <laughs> things are different when your money is fucking funny, man. Yo, I don't give a yo, and you know what I hate, Pete? You know what I <laughs> tell me you guys didn't do shit like that out there. Tell me you guys tell me you go your motherfuckers ain't go back to back over some fucking why you gotta pay this or why you gotta do. Tell me you I, I'm pretty sure everybody on here has done that bullshit. I'm pretty sure y'all have done that bullshit. <laughs> you will do it, right? You'll do I'm telling you. Especially when you don't fucking have it. I don't have the because I'm gonna tell you straight up. Well, I don't have it. Sometimes you have it and you don't want to pay for it. I still don't fucking have it. But hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you a, a, a good one. Hold on. Yeah, sorry guys, but you know what I hate about my <laughs> yo. Tell you, don't tell me guys, you never did that shit, yo. Don't tell me, cause I'm very combative. Fuck that, right? But don't you hate when people say it's only, right? Like they know what that that that, that like they know what's in your fucking pocket. Like it's only twenty dollars. Well. Motherfucker, are you paying this twenty dollars? I don't give a fuck if it's only twenty. I don't want to pay the twenty dollars. But how about if I don't have twenty dollars? Like people say shit sometimes that you be like, "Do you know what's in my fucking pocket?" You saying it's only like you fucking only know what's in my fucking pocket. Are you paying for it, motherfucker? I hate people like that. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. I hate it. Okay, so if it's only $20, pay it, motherfucker. Pay it. The nerve. That's what I feel about people. Some people got the fucking nerve. The audacity. Like, the nerve of you, motherfucker. Well, it's like only 20 or or Well, it's like only, only $50. Well, I need that $50, okay? I have light bill. I have food to buy. I have cable. I have rent. You're talking like it's only, it's only is nothing. Well, if it's nothing, then give it to me for free. It's so much disrespect, right? I hate motherfuckers like that, yo. Or a nigga trying to beat you in your fucking head. I, yo, I hate people monkeying around with my mind. I hate it. I hate it with a fucking passion. Like people playing with my intelligence and shit right so only 50 then then exactly like people play yo i hate people playing fucking mind games with me yo i hate the shit with a passion because you know 
I was smarter than most fifth graders, guys. I am. I'm. I'm very highly intelligent. I just don't tell people that shit. But you know, my mind. You, know, you fucking with somebody that's mentally there. So, but I just don't. You, you, here, here's the thing about smart people. You gotta be. There's a difference. I always tell people. There's a difference between being smart, being wise, or having both. But there is definitely a huge difference between being smart and being wise. Right? Okay. A smart person, I'm going to tell you the difference. A smart person knows how to get their self out of a problem. A wise person doesn't get their self in the problem. Got it? A smart and wise person sometimes is out of their control. So they got to do what they need to do. Okay? So that's the difference. If you didn't fucking know. Got it? <laughs> I could teach a lot of motherfucking shit. Alright? But they just not advanced enough. Some people are just not advanced. They just don't fucking get it. And I don't have the patience for them to fucking get it. Okay? You know what I hate? I hate when a person, a person, especially your kids, this is pertaining to kids. I know everybody has been through the teenage years, right? Or if you have kids, or if you don't have kids, I'm gonna tell you something about kids. It comes a point where everybody, child, think that they're smarter than the fucking parent. Do you know that? They think they're much wiser and they know more than the parent. The parent's trying to tell them something to school their fucking ass. And they think they're smarter than the fucking parent. Right? In some cases, true. The parent is, the child supersedes the parents. Okay? But in some cases, you try to tell your kid something and your kid is defiant and not listening to what the fuck you're saying. Like you're a fucking doorknob and shit and like... You was born fucking last night and shit, and they gave birth to you. It's true. So if you don't have kids, or you do have kids, you know what the fuck I'm talking about if you have kids. And if you don't have kids, this is what the fuck to expect. Okay? It's the truth. Right? Now, I don't know what kind of parent you are if you have kids out there. But I believe in tough love because I grew up with tough love. Right? Right? Everybody got to leave the nest sometimes. Everybody got to learn how to fly, right? I'm not going to be around forever. So, you know, where people fuck up raising kids, right, is that they shelter them from the fucking world, right? Unfortunately, the world is an ugly place. Yes, it is. We don't want our kids to endure. You know, we're just trying to look out for our kids and shit. We don't want them to endure the ugly fucking world and the shit that we've been through in life. So we try to school them on things and what not to do and what to do. Now, every child is different. I don't give a fuck if it's the same parent. Every child is going to come out different. Yeah, because why? We was all born differently. We all think differently. So you have one child, on the other hand, that take heed to what you're saying and say, okay, mom is right, dad is right, whatever. And then you have the other child that is fucking hard-headed, right? And you have to let them be hard-headed because a hard head make a sore fast, right? That's what I was taught. You make your bed, you lay in it, right? One thing I don't, one thing is for sure, I didn't grow up disrespecting my parents. I don't, I don't, and I don't respect that from my kids. I don't give a fuck how they think about me, but you will not disrespect me. But I feel at a certain age, and I, I, and I mean, you have to groom your child since young, from young, how to be independent, right? I started cooking at eight years old. So, and cleaning at a very young age too, eight, nine, ten. We was cleaning. We was cleaning, cooking, okay? That's how we was raised, okay? Washing clothes on a fucking scrub board. Hey, hey. But you have to teach your child from a young age what the world is all about. I don't give a fuck if you feel uncomfortable talking about certain subjects. You need to put your feelings to the side because you don't want your child to go out there in this fucking nasty ass ugly world and get fucked up or fucked over. Because, again, you have motherfuckers that 
because the mind is where it's at, right? So you have motherfuckers that's going to run to try to play mental games, right? Each child will play this hand once they get older as the teenage years. That's when they start trying to, exactly, Justin, exactly, right? But I believe, I'm the type of parent, I believe that once you get a certain age, I don't have to financially support you. I don't have to fucking do shit for you, okay? Because if I wasn't around, then what the fuck would you do? So, therefore, I believe when a child is like 21, 22, 23, 24, you got to start weaning them off of you if you haven't started already. Weaning them off of you. They need to have a job. They need to be productive. They need to go out there and start knowing what, how to save and how to make their own fucking money. Okay? I'm sorry. Okay? Now, I'm one of those parents that I will help my child out if they need help. Anybody. Okay, but especially my kids. But I'm not your fucking personal bank account or ATM. I'm not here to buy your clothes and shoes at 25 years old. I'm sorry. I'm not here to do that. I'm not here to, you know, pay your fuck because at 25 I had my own I had my own shit. I was doing my own fucking shit. Okay? So, you know, that's just word to the wise. So, but when you start talking to these children and trying to school them and they think they know more than you, it's time to fucking cut the umbilical cord. The umbilical cord when cut was cut when they was born, but sometimes people hold on to their kids for too long and then their kids is being disrespectful and being defiant and talking back to them like they fucking know shit. And you got to be like, you know what? Fuck you, nigga. Yes, you can say fuck you to your kids. I don't, I, it's your, it's your kid. You can say fuck you. Okay, and go about your fucking business. Now, live life on your own and see what it's like. Because you got to teach kids or you got to teach people. Even if it's not your kids, you got to teach people a lesson in life. And you have a button. Everybody has that button and a line to draw with you. Exactly. Can't play the role of a child and make demands as an adult. So, therefore, you need to get the fuck out of my crib and have your own fucking shit. Okay, because one thing is for sure, you're not going to be talking to me any way that you want to or or trying to like, you know, have your own fucking way. Not in my shit and not in my fucking time. Okay, not in my shit and not in my time. So if I wasn't alive and shit like that and you needed money, who the fuck would you ask? What the fuck would you do? This world is called survival of the fittest. Right? It's called survival of the fittest. So, if you didn't have no fucking body in this world, what the fuck will you do? You got to learn to survive, right? So, do that shit. <laughs> do that shit. Do that shit. It's not that you don't love your kids. You very much well love them. You love them enough to, to, you love them enough to have them swim and fly on their own because they need to be independent in case anything happened to you. That's love. Love is not coddling your child and securing them from the world that we live in. Love is letting them know like, yo, there's some shiesty motherfuckers out there. You need to watch your back. You need to get a job. You need to save money. Let's open up a bank account. That's love. Teaching them how to be independent and on their own and how to survive in this fucked up world. I'm just saying. Okay. It's like the movie Hunger Games. Is that? Thank you, Michelle. What do you think about Libra woman and cancer man? What do you think about it? What do you think about it? Don't ask me what I think about it. You're, you're the one dating the person. What do you think about it? It's not about the sign. Everybody, everybody thinks it's about the sign. How is, they treat, how does, how is this person, treat, person treating you? Do you guys get along? Okay. So how do you feel about the person? That is my question to you. Right. The world is a doggy dog world. Better get used to it, buddy. Okay? Better get used to it. I didn't come this far in my life by being naive and stupid. No. 
<laughs> Not at all. I started grooming myself when he was a little lad. Now he's 24 with a college degree and went on his way. Exactly. That's what it's all about, Black Acre, White Acre. That's what it's all about. And while he's in college, you tell him, hey, listen, watch your drinks. I'm not saying, you know, you're going to do what you want any fucking way. Because, you know, kids, they, you know, you could tell your kids, don't have sex, don't do this. They're going to do what the fuck they want. But as long as you was a good, as long as you know that you told them about sex, alcohol, people drugging them, you did your job. Now it's up to them to be wise enough or to take heed to what you're saying. Okay? Hey, what up, G. Murphy? You show them the right way. Okay? And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. So, you know, at this point in your life, guys, if you even if you if you guys are single, what are you guys mad about? If you guys in a relationship, how is that going? <clears throat> you know? Exactly, Deborah. Every you could you could say a, the same thing over and over. They're gonna do what the fuck they want anyway. I did what the well, nobody told me anything though. Nobody told me about boyfriends and sex and I mean I had to learn that shit on my own, you know. That's good. There's a lot of people in prison that had good parents. You know what? You know what's crazy, right? Right? You know what I hate? And and, and I hate this with a passion. One day, uh, I used to work at a hospital. And I had went to, we had a store at the corner, right? And I came out the store. And this guy, this little boy had to look about like 10 years old. And he was like, the little boy was carrying a bag. You see the little boy, he was a cute little boy. This motherfucker was cursing this this little boy out like he was a grown man in the street. What the fuck you doing? Get the fuck over here, nigga. What the fuck I told? That shit irks me to, that shit irks me to death. Now I curse a lot. I curse a lot. I curse a lot. But one thing is for sure, I don't talk to my kids like that. Right? Kids deserve respect too. But this guy was talking to this little boy. And I, I looked like, yo, the fuck you doing, nigga? Like, what the fuck you talking to that kid like that for? And I mean, this kid looked petrified. Like, like anything, any move the kid made, this nigga was cursing him out like, yo, fuck. Right? And I'm going to tell you this. Okay? Now, you could correct me if I'm right or wrong. But this is why some kids grow up people grow up the way that they are right each one teach one so obviously that guy didn't have patience and he's 10 the little kid looked like 10 years old imagine him with a baby crying he probably killed that baby but this is why some people grow up the way that they grow up because of this right but it's up to that child to reprogram their mind and say, I'm not going to treat my kids this way because I was treated that way. But sometimes it's not like that. So, you know, that shit, let me tell you something. That shit hurt me so bad. I, I still, I'm talking about it to this day. Because certain events, like, that just stay with me. Like, the way he was talking. And I, yo, I just looked at that nigga like, the fuck you doing? Like, I'm at work right now, but nigga, like, yo, I'm telling you, I, I, let me tell you something. I don't like bullies. I don't like bullies. Because, nigga, you a pussy-ass nigga. Like, you bullying a fucking kid, yo. That's a kid. And you bullying that fucking kid. Like, that nigga, the nigga, the little kid was scared and shit. Just because you was bullied your fucking life when you was a pussy and then fight back doesn't mean you had to bully this fucking kid like that. And, you know, I don't even know if he was, it was his brother or his girlfriend. Son, because let me tell you something. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm being totally honest with you. If that guy, if we was anywhere else, I'll be honest with you. My mind is like crazy sometimes. I would have I killed that nigga. 
I would have, I would have snuck, I would have got somewhere like that he, that nobody could see me, and I would have blew that nigga head off and free that kid. Like, yo, go ahead, kid, run, <laughs> run, run, run. The fuck, you talking to that kid like that for, nigga? You stupid. You need your, you, yo, you need your head blown off right now. Like, yo, you, you talk, and that shit, yo, I was just like eating, like. I had a bag of chips, like, just like, oh, I would do you in right now for that kid. <laughs> Seriously, that's how my mind work. Like, man, I'm being honest. I'm being fucking totally honest. Because I don't like shit like that. I don't like bullies, you know? I don't like, I don't, I don't like stuff like that. I don't like stuff like that. Like, yo. Mm -mm. And too old to have my... But I love children and don't play about them. Yeah, man. Like, 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 like kids, like, yo, the kid look petrified. The kid look petrified. Like, oh, shit, I can't, you know. Come here, motherfucker. What the fuck I say? And the kid is like with the bag, like, I'm like, yo. Yo. <laughs> you got people like me that were like, yo, do you in? Like, yo. If we was in a, like, a different scenario and shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what I thought, Stefan. If he does that in public to that child, imagine what he does behind closed doors. But when people, I always say, when people do shit like that to other people, like kids, right? They're a pussy ass motherfucker. They're pussy. Because that's a kid. That kid is helpless. That kid can't beat you. That kid can't. No. That kid can't. And I'm not about to fight you, but trust and believe, I will blow your fucking head off. Yes. <laughs> Facts. Okay? That's me. Like, yo, don't fuck around. Okay? Because I don't like stuff like that. Because... You know, when I think about my childhood and shit like that, it's just, you know, it's fucking, you know, it's just, just like pick on somebody your own size, motherfucker. Like, you just wilding out right now for no fucking reason. The kid is scared already. Why the fuck you keep cursing out the kid like that? Like, yo, so, sometimes good children have a messed up parent. It would be up to that child to correct that when that child, right. And this is what I'm saying. So when you get older and shit like that, you gotta understand what's right and what's wrong. That's 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 what I'm saying. That has nothing to do with the Bible, okay? So again, I was my parents. Well, not my dad, but you know they both came from Christian backgrounds. But it's up to you to know what's right and what's wrong. So just because I grew up with a mother that's not loving and not caring and you know curses us the fuck out, my dad used to curse us out too doesn't mean I'm going to grow up and do the same thing to my kids. Right? You have to you have to you have to break those generational curses. That's why it's called and breaking generational curses is not only having to do with money, but just breaking the cycle of how one thinks and how one was raised, okay? I was always the black sheep of my family. I did what the fuck I want. I still do. I don't really give a fuck what people say about me. I don't really give a fuck about my family with this cuz quite to, to be quite honest, right? People always want to, um, they want people to think highly of them. Why don't you think highly of yourself? Because nobody gives a fuck. The only reason why you would want to, your parent to approve of your upbringing is because you want your parent to, to know that they did a good job raising you. But you are your own person, period. That's it doesn't mean that your parent did a bad job raising you it's just that you're breaking out the matrix so because me doing what I want to do when I was a young uh, from a young age I already knew who I was like meaning like like um getting tattoos and getting piercing doing what the fuck I want doing what the fuck I want I already knew I, I didn't I didn't abide by the rules and I used to get my ass whooped a lot that's okay I got used to it didn't phase me, right? But at the same token, you know, again, not everything is an ass whooping. 
just because a kid is not listening doesn't mean that you have to get out of control and whip the kid's ass. Sometimes just sitting down, having a conversation, if they would have just had a conversation with me, maybe I would have understood that more than a fucking belt and buckle or a fucking extension cord or a broomstick. Maybe I would have understood that more. But because, you know, like, it, you know, it, it's just a simple fucking conversation. I comprehend very well, you know? You know, I was having an interesting conversation with my cousin. She called me yesterday, uh, my Virgo cousin, okay? That's like one of my favorite cousins. She called me yesterday and, um, you know, we was, we was polying and shit. And I had to tell her something. And, Cause I never, I, I don't express things to people like that. So I told her like, my dad never knew me. She's from, she's from my dad's family. Her mother, her mother, her mother, her, somebody's getting it out, getting on out there, but somebody's on the go. But her mother and my father are sisters and brothers. So she's my first cousin. So I tell her like my dad, I said, nobody knows me. Not even my dad. My dad never knew me. Nobody fucking know me. Because, like, my dad, I guess he felt, like, disappointed in me and shit like that because of my actions and, you know, just things that I did in life and shit like that. But, again, simple conversation. He grew up a drunk. He just, liquor was more important. That's how I felt. I knew that my dad loved me, but he was always fucking drunk, okay? Not to discredit him being a parent or whatever the case may be, but it is what it is. Not to say that I didn't love him, but so I just told her like nobody knows me, and she knows that she knows I'm very quiet and private. So, so I said, you know, a lot of people discredit me in life, but I don't really give a fuck. You know, she's religious. N now, now here's the, here's the thing, my cousin, she's religious. She go to church and shit every fucking Sunday, right? And if she got, can't go to church, she listen on the phone. Okay, I don't go to church. But I know who I am, right? But one thing that my cousin respect about me is because I'm always myself. Just because she doesn't, she doesn't curse. I'm a curse to her, and she knows that. I'm a curse. I'm gonna say dick. I'm gonna say ass. I'm gonna say fuck. I'm gonna say motherfucker. But she respect me because I'm authentic and I am who I am. So she said one thing I respect about you, Taj. You know, I never judge you. I said, well, we're not supposed to judge. So she was like, but, you know, everybody had it fucked up when it came to you. They always do, right? Because my dad, like, my family always thought I was stupid because of the actions that I took. They always thought I was stupid. My dad called me stupid. He called me a cocksucker. I used to be called a lot of shit. But that shit don't fucking fake. It about, so when people say shit to me, that, that shit is like a rubber band. Like, I've been called worse. Hit me with, hit me with your best shot. <laughs> what is that? Right? Hit me with your best shot. I've, I've, been called, uh, I've been called so much shit in my fucking life that that shit don't faze me. But here's the thing, right? My dad, my dad passed away before he ever, he ever, oh, he, my dad passed away before he ever saw me succeed in life. Got it? The only one who's living and breathing is my mom to see me succeed. Now, why, do, why was I stupid? I was stupid because I had kids. I was stupid because I had tattoos. I was stupid because... You know, I had piercings. I was stupid because I was living my life. That's why I was stupid. I was stupid because I wasn't living the way that they wanted me to live. But what, how did you want me to live if you're not teaching me shit? You want me to be a lawyer. I don't want to fucking be a lawyer. I want to be a detective. That's too dangerous. I don't want you being a detective. But this is my fucking life. Don't I have a choice here? No. Right? But again, I never was taught principles of life. I never was taught about sex. I didn't talk about period. Those things were forbidden. So what the fuck are we supposed to talk about? So you can control me. You're gonna control me by beating me. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same shit tomorrow. That's how I was. Let me tell you guys, I was fucking out, yo. I was fucking a wild child. So I would get an ass whipping tonight and I would do the same shit tomorrow and get an ass whipping tomorrow. <laughs> But you're not teaching me shit. This house is fucking toxic. I don't want to be here. Right? But if you sat down and you talk to me like, what is your problem? My problem is that you drink too much. 
My problem is that your mom and dad, you you guys argue, like, you breaking up. You, you know, it's like, it was toxic. I just didn't want to fucking be there. You know? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, so, you know, it be like that sometimes. Do I regret my upbringing? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't feel sorry for myself or anything like that. I don't give a fuck. So that's what I'm saying, people. Like, you got to take your upbringing and you just got to just, just think about it and just apply it to your life. Like, okay, well, and change it. And change it. It's up to you. Okay? No, you're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. Okay? So, I mean, people think, like, being the black sheep is, like, fucked up. No, being the black sheep means that you're a strong motherfucker and that you're a chosen one and that, that you, you're here to do something. Right? Again, like I said, I've seen a lot of shit in my fucking life. But without me experiencing those things in life, how can I relay it to other people? And how to be careful out here or, you know, be open-minded to things. I can't relate. But I can relate. So if you tell me a story about something happened to you, maybe it may not have happened to me, but maybe something similar, but I can relate. You understand? You're the black sheep now. Congratulations to you. You're the chosen one. Congratulations. Okay? So never think that, you know, because I was always different. As a child, I always knew I was different. I always knew I was different. Always. Okay? Always. Always. Sometimes being alone ain't that bad. It's not being... It's some, you know what? And this is why I always tell people. Being alone or single, you're never alone. Your spirit guides, God is always with you. Right? Your spirit guides and God is always with you. Period. But being single and being alone is your time to ascend and to really think about your life and where you want to be and things that you, the necessary changes that you need to make into your life. And that's another thing we was talking about with my, because me and my cousin, we had like a, an hour conversation. And I told her, like, basically, like, because me, me and her brainstorm, you know, we brainstorm, we talk about real shit. And I like my cousin because although she religious, she could relate to me. Like she, she's still down to earth and she knows that I'm a realist and she's a realist. And I tell her the people, the problem with people is that they want to change people. Change begins with that person if they want to change. So if you feel like you're going to come into a motherfucking life and change them, then you fucking, you, you think in the wrong way. Either you are going to accept them for the person that they are, or you're going to dismiss them because you don't like what you see right period okay a person change because they want to change nobody could change a person and if you have to if you think that you have to change a person then you don't need to be with them plain and simple okay you got you yeah you got you got you you you, you vibe on a higher frequency okay i'm further than 5d right now so my readings is going to be really, really deep, dark to some people, like dark and scary. I don't really give a fuck. Don't come to my channel if you don't really, if you don't want to hear the real shit. That's it. Thank you, Empress. Thank you. I am a real one, Empress. A lot of people don't know that shit about me, though. I'm a real motherfucker. I am. Thank you, Top Shot Brat. <laughs> I have problems with my mom because I am spiritual and sense things she can't. I am not someone to tell you what you want to hear. I am here to tell people what they need to hear. Exactly, Geraldine. Exactly. So if you, again, you know, listen, the whole thing about it is if you want to be an entrepreneur or want to be a boss, right? You can't please everyone. I'm not a people pleaser. I don't know about you all out there, but I'm not a people pleaser. I'm not here to stroke your fucking ego and to tell you things that you want to hear. If you wear a dress or an outfit that I think is ugly or whatever, I'm going to tell you it's fucking ugly and don't go outside looking like that with me. Okay? 
But if you want to get somebody that be like, oh, yeah, yeah, well, you look good. Let's go. Go ahead. There's a lot of fake motherfuckers out there. There's, there's a lot of fake motherfuckers out there. It's, it, every corner you, you turn is fake motherfuckers. You, it's very rare that you find a real one. Okay? Very rare. All right? So when I come into people's lives, <laughs> I'm just saying. When I come into people's lives and shit like that, <laughs> it's true. It's true, though. It's true. What I'm saying is true. It's true. You know what I'm saying? It's very rare that you find real motherfuckers. I know you try to save somebody, and I don't understand that, but the thing about life, how it is, is sometimes you have to save. But that's, that's the whole thing, Justin, right? You can't save everyone, right? And some people don't want to be saved at the point in their life at times. Why? Because they have to find their self. It's not up for me and you to preach to people and try to save people. It's up for them. It's up to them to want to be saved, right? So if a fucking person is depressed, I could only cause if that person seeks my advice. If you could say, well, you know what? Are you okay? Is everything okay with you? If that person say no, leave it at is. Like, don't pressure them into talking. Like, are you? No. That person will talk when they feel like to. Whatever, whoever it is, right? But at the same time, it's not up for you for a person to come to you to express how they feel and for you to take their, their, have this ever happened? And I'm pretty sure it happens to everybody. Have you ever tried to express yourself to someone, right? When you finally open up and the person try to turn it around to them? Has this ever happened? Like, 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 like when you finally express yourself, like, yeah, you know, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about because I was there and I this happened to me and that, and then you have the person feeling like confused, like, see what I'm saying? Like, is this about me or is this about you? Total narcissist. So you just be, you just stay quiet. You just be like. The fuck you the fuck you asked me if I'm alright if you're gonna turn around the situation and talk about your fucking self. I thought this was about me and expressing myself and how I feel. Because me, I have a very hard time expressing myself to people. I do. I do. It's fucking annoying, right? When a person or a person that try to put themselves in every situation. Like they just, they, you know, some people call it stealing the light, like stealing the limelight, but it's not even that. It's like, that's a total narcissist because they just want the spotlight on them. Like for everybody to pay attention to them and feel sorry for them. I don't feel sorry for you. Fuck you. You know? You know? Or a person that doesn't, a person that, that doesn't let you finish your sentence. You're trying to say something and they cut you and they finish the sentence for you and that's not even what the fuck you was gonna say. So you just sit back and you, so at those moments, just shut the fuck up guys. Just shut the fuck up and let them take the lead and then you dismiss yourself. Right, Mary Baines. It's true. Or have you ever dealt with a motherfucker, the I know motherfucker? I know. The I know motherfucker. The I know. Everything you say is, I know. I know. How the fuck you know? Were you there? How the fuck you eh? always know so annoying as fuck the person who knows everything I hate the person who knows everything now that motherfucker right there 
the person that knows everything, because you know they have different categories to people. Now the, the now the person that knows everything, me and that person gonna go back to back. We gonna go at it because you know I know um, in astrology I know it's actually an Aquarius statement. They say Aquarius is the I know, right? But I don't know everything. I don't. A child could keep. Uh, a child could teach me something, right? But the I know motherfuckers, you're stealing my statement. I'm Aquarius, so you're stealing my statement, and I should. I should be the one that's saying I know. And if you're telling me I know, I know, I know, that's gonna annoy the fuck out of me, and we're gonna go back to back because I'm gonna argue you the fuck down. To make my point but that's just me though because i'm petty like that sometimes <laughs> hey what up shot uh say yes you see what i'm saying but you're, you're you know those i know people right i know i know i already know i already know <laughs> okay so you gotta leave those I knows people. Right? I know. I know. Okay, so if you know what is 57 times 60? Come on, I know. Let's get it. They don't know shit. <laughs> they have to use their fucking calculator. Hold on one minute. <laughs> Yo, what up, Peanut? No, they don't know. They don't know shit. Those be the main ones. Those be, yo. I hate people like that. Yo, I hate people like that. I hate bullies. I hate people. I hate, oh. I hate people that think that they know me. I hate that shit with a fucking passion. Do you have one of those people that think that they know everything about you? Right? That they study you so they study you so long that they feel like they know everything about gaslighting. That they know everything about you. So when a person thinks that they know everything about you, do this for me. Tell them, you know everything about me? Tell me what I'm thinking right now. With a straight face. Um, I'm thinking that you're thinking of that I don't know what you're thinking. No, I was actually thinking about choking you. Wrong. <laughs> I hate that shit. <laughs> Think again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you a, a. I'm gonna give you another chance. I'm gonna give you another chance. Okay, tell me what I'm thinking now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you one more chance because you know everything about me. One more chance. So tell me what I'm thinking now. Um. You're thinking, then they hesitate, then they hesitate. Come on, come on, come on. Tell me, tell me. Um, I don't know. That's the correct answer. You don't know. <laughs> That's the correct answer. You don't know. Because the second thing I was thinking of where to bury your fucking body. That's the second thing I was thinking. <laughs> okay. So don't act like you fucking know me, all right? Because you fucking don't. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Game over, all right? Especially, yeah, you only act like that because, you know. Yes. They go by astrology. 
Like, oh yeah, Aquarius is this, Aquarius that. You don't fucking know me. You don't fucking know me at all. And even if you watch my fucking videos, you don't know me and you don't know my deepest, darkest thoughts and secrets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Posh? You know what I'm saying, Posh? You know what I'm saying, right? That people can't read minds and predict things that are going to happen or that an emotion. I am of the one of those people. You're one of those people, Audra. You're you're one of those people that can read minds, right? So you can read minds automatically. Now me, I could read body language and I oh, ladies and gentlemen, the eyes is the windows to people's soul, right? All people are not the same. People are master all people people are not the same, right? Now, everyone could read each other's minds. Right? Now I always tell people, and I'm giving you a clue. I always tell people, look at a motherfucker eyes. The eyes is the window to the soul. Right? So if somebody loves you and they don't say it, look at their fucking eyes. If somebody is uh, up to something, look at their fucking eyes. If somebody is has a dark energy, look at their fucking eyes. If somebody is gullible, look at their fucking eyes. The eyes is the window to the fucking soul. I'm very good at reading people, reading body language. I'm very good at that. And reading your next step. Now, how do one accomplish that? I won't tell you that. But what I would tell you is that any move that you make, I'm always going to be 10 steps ahead of you. Got it? But I'm not going to tell you I'm 10 steps ahead of you. I'm not going to tell you that. I would just let you play yourself. Because every step that you make or every move that you make is just me personally, me personally, is just confirming every step that I knew that you was going to make. Got it? So I play a little game. You got to play a little game with yourself. It's a mental game. Trust me, you become very, very fucking powerful. Especially when they have ill intention towards you. Exactly. I knew a person, right? I knew... This was a long time ago. Damn. I don't know if I should... Okay. I tell this story. I knew a person, right? How do I begin with this person? How do I begin? How do I introduce this person? Okay, so I knew a person that I knew that she was a jealous type, like a hater, an undercover hater. Although she exudes confidence, I know that she was a hater. Now, I'm the type of person that I will push your buttons. I will I won't push your buttons to the fact that like we're going to fight but if you want to fight we're going to fight but i'm going to push you i'm going to test you i'm going to test all areas that i know that you're insecure of because i study people right that's just within my fucking nature right that's 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 who i am okay but i know that she was insecure although she exude confidence i know that she was insecure right but i knew that she didn't Deep down inside, she didn't really care for me, like like me as a person. She was just hanging around with me for clout. Got it? This is back in the days, though. This is back in the, uh, your your girl Tosh. I know a lot of people. So I noticed something about her. Key thing. <laughs> gotta love the hate. I gotta love the yeah. Key things that I noticed about her. Is that I always did my eyes cat eyes. She was always she didn't she never did cat cat eyes. So she started doing cat eyes. That was number one. I said okay. But I I, I was picking up things from her that I just I, I felt her energy and I felt she really wasn't my friend. She just was hanging around me for clout. She was she was she was insecure. 
told, um, we didn't get into a fight or anything. But basically, I told her about herself one stinking day. But let me tell you how that went about. So, um, I tested her. I test everyone. All right? And um, basically, she blew the fuck up. She blew up. I didn't think it was that serious what I said, but she, she took it some kind of way. And uh, she blew the fuck up. I don't want to get into it because she possibly watched my channel and then she going to know who the fuck I'm talking about. Because, yeah, I, I don't care about these raggedy ass bitches. But anyway, um, she said something to the effect like this to me. You think you're all of that. Now, I'm going to tell you where this statement comes from. You think you're all of that. Right? You're, you think you're all of that. Have you ever heard of that statement? Somebody say, you think you're all of that. Right? I'm going to tell you how to counteract that statement. Right? I told her, no. I don't think I'm all of that. You think I'm all of that. That shit. So we was arguing. So here, 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 here's the shit, right? I had said something and it was pertaining to my family. And she she basically was trying to convince me to like put it, you know, like let sleeping dogs lie and shit like that. And basically, you know, you know, you know. I'm the type of person, like, when I had enough of a bitch, I had enough of her. And then she was, like, out of nowhere. We wasn't even, I wasn't even, you know, talking about that. And she said, I think I'm all of that. She said, well, you think you're all of that. I said, no, baby girl. You think I'm all of that. That's why you're on my shit. That's why you're in love with me. That shit sent that girl haywire. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch was like what what I said you heard what I said because see me I ain't gonna get loud with a bitch I said you heard what I said I don't have to repeat myself she was like oh bitch what are we doing here what are we doing here cause I'm about to duff you the fuck out stop playing with me right <laughs> That's how you gotta do. <laughs> That's how you gotta do females. All right. That's how you gotta do. I don't know, cause you guys are confused, but I don't know. So, yeah. Uh, that was many years ago. I was the last time I spoke to that girl. I was twenty eight. <laughs> So, okay, so, okay, so when she said that I think I'm all of that, she was always, so when people use that, 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 that statement, right, it's because they always thought you was all of that. They always admire you. They was always on your dick and sucking it hard. Got what I'm saying? I already saw the signs with her doing her fucking eyes and shit like that. And when I shop, oh, what store you shop at? Let me go shopping with you. She all up in my fucking ass and shit, stuff like that. Now, what happened was that she was friends with me and my cousin. My cousin stole from me. Okay, I don't know how you guys feel about somebody stealing from you and shit like that, but I don't play that shit. Don't fucking steal from me. And so, we was going out to a nightclub and shit, and my cousin wanted to come, and I was like, if that bitch come, I'm fucking that bitch the fuck up. Like, yo, don't have that bitch around me. Like, plain and simple. And she was trying to play both sides of the field and shit like that, so I was like... Listen, I'm out of here. Like, you go with her to the fucking spot. I'm not going. And she was like, oh, you know, what's this about? We all supposed to, bitch, fuck you. That, that's my, this is your cousin. Bitch, you act like you my fucking family and shit. You understand what I mean? Like, this is my fucking cousin. I handle her how the fuck I want to handle her. She fucking stole from me and shit like that. You want me to take, you want, you want us to hang out like we're fucking, like, 
peaches and, like everything is peaches and cream i'm gonna fuck this bitch up and go to jail and shit like that she because my cousin at that time my cousin she stole from me and i was okay so what happened i was living with my cousin and i noticed things was missing from me like my bras and this bitch was this bitch stole my bras and panties how fucking nasty is that bitch get a fucking life you stealing my bras and panties and shit and wearing them and taking pictures for your niggas in jail and shit like yo fuck out of here but anyway so she stole from me i found out she was stealing from me oh so what happened was the girl she she was the one who told me she was the one who saw the pictures and saw like shit that we bought together or my cousin and show said yo i know who's stealing the shit from you it's your own fucking cousin so i was like word so she was like in the middle this girl was in the middle she was like okay so now tell me guys it, so my cousin what she was doing she was stealing from me and she was hiding it at my aunt's house her grandmother's house and shit like that so would you want to hang out with a person like that you want to fuck them up on site right like yo where's my shit motherfucker like i know you were stealing because this bitch had me thinking i was senile and shit like i was going crazy and shit i know my shit isn't perfume or this shit mission like i'm like yo the fuck is going on here my shit is missing like yo i'm living with my cousin it's her daughter my cousin daughter was stealing from me so i was like yo what the fuck i'm coming back from work my shit is missing and shit i don't pay fucking rent here for my shit to be fucking missing and shit like that i'm and my cousin is like looking at me i'm like yo who the fuck else got a key to this place that is coming in while i'm going still on my perfume and shit she was she looking at me like i'm fucking stupid and shit anyway the girl knew she she was friends with both of us so she saw some pictures of my cousin wearing outfits of mine that we bought together so the girl recognized the outfits and was like oh shit she came back to me and was like yo is your cousin stealing your shit blah 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 so i went to my cousin i was like yo i ain't paying you no more yo no more fucking rent all that shit is coming out your fucking rent because she stole a lot of fucking shit from me blah 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 my cousin didn't want to implicate her daughter and shit granted anyway so this time now we're going out to the spot and she, my my cousin wanted to come and i was like uh so basically she was like oh you know she didn't want to get in the middle but bitch you the one who told me that my cousin stole the shit you the one who told me that you saw that she stole the shit so like either we either she come and you know we're gonna duff this shit out because we're gonna clear it out we're gonna clear this shit out and you're gonna get fucked up too if you're lying to me we're gonna clear this shit out because i know I, I know i'm not bugging she not coming at all that's it like fuck anyway um basically words were said and she was like, oh, well, you think you all of that anyway. That sounds like something my cousin would say. So then I know that it was talk about me any fucking way. So I was like, no, you think I'm all of that. And as a matter of fact, you in love with me. And one thing led to another. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So anyway, um, that's what do you do with people. So when people are haters and jealous of you and shit like that, first of all, <laughs> there's people that play... <laughs> but I didn't know it was her. right. I should have put something, but I didn't know it was her stealing. Like, I don't know about you, but you know, if I'm paying like fucking rent and shit like that, like you in love with me. That's been, that's plain and simple. So the bitch took that shit to offense. She was like, oh blah blah. Yeah, bitch. What we gonna do about it now? Run that shit. Like yo. So anyway, because I don't give a fuck who you are. Cousin, sister, brother, mother, that's just a fucking title. That doesn't mean you shit to me. You got what I'm saying? Like, so what? That's just a fucking title that they put on people that we're related to. So you ain't shit to me. That's how I feel about people. You ain't my cousin. You ain't. Only people that show me love, I, I gravitate to. Sometimes strangers show you more love than your own fucking family. And that's a fact. But anyway, I always knew that she was a hater and a jealous ass bitch. Got what I'm saying? And she tried to play this fucking monkey game with me and shit like that. I, I yo, I'm with the shits, okay? Like, you ain't playing no fucking mind games with me, monkey games, shit like that. That bitch, all right, so if that bitch want to come around, if that bitch want to go clubbing with us, I'm going to confront her and tell her that you the one that told me that she stole my shit. Oh, why I gotta go there? 
See, when a person start singing like a canary like that, you know they full of shit. Because a thorough ass bitch, first of all, I'm thorough. We're going to bring all this shit together and we're going to discuss this shit. Like, yo, did you steal my shit? Because you're going to get your ass whipped either way. <laughs> either way, you're going to get your fucking ass whipped. Okay? So, like, but again, we was arguing about, we was arguing about her stealing my shit. So where the fuck did I think I'm all of that came from? Oh, you think you ordered that anyway? Hold up. First of all, I was thought I thought we was talking about my cousin stealing my shit and coming to the club with us. How how we get to I think I'm all of that. Bitch, you think I'm all of that. Now what? Now the energy turns to you because you you acting like you want your fucking ass whipped. Okay? Like, fuck out of here. That's why that's why when I say about female friends and bitches and shit like that, like, no, you think I'm all of that bitch. And as a matter of fact, you in love with me. Say something. Say something else. <laughs> Fuck out of here. But see, when people... That's why I always tell people, you got to pay attention to what people say to you. Because that came out of left field. Where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? Why? Because she was always thinking that shit. She was a hater. She was, she, she, she was always a hater. But she pretentious. Okay? Fuck out of here. That's why I don't like people. I say to friends, word, friends, thank you, Latin. Friends, I'm gonna see how much of a friend you are. I'm gonna see. Okay? I'm gonna see how much of a friend you are. Always listen to motherfuckers and what they have. That shit. So when a person say, oh, you think you all of that. No, you think I'm all of that. And thank you. Thank you for being on my fucking dick and sucking it hard. Okay? But obviously you're not sucking it well enough because I ain't even fucking ejaculate yet. Keep sucking. That's why it's very hard for me. People find me to be cold. I'm not fucking cold. I just know people. I know people and I know how they can fucking act. It's not only women that hate. Men hate too. Men hate too. So. <laughs> gag on it, bitch. So. You ever been in a relationship, right? This is what we call gaslighting. So. Even in your relationship, your man or whatever sex you go by, if you're whatever, your partner could be jealous of you, of, of your accomplishments or your strength or your ambition or your endurance to survive. Your partner could be jealous of you. And that's real facts because they're insecure and they feel like they can't measure up or do the things that you do, right? So they start gaslighting you what is gaslighting gaslighting is a form of mani manipulation to make you feel less than dumb because they're a fucking narcissist right so the first question if you if you tell your partner how to know that your partner is jealous of you the first thing you're going to do is say to your partner i'm going to be a celebrity one day <laughs> just like that out of the clear blue sky. They think that you're going to... Because it's, it's... Remember, it's the mind, right? So, I wouldn't say call it playing mind games. But I would just say that you're diving deep into their mind. Right? To see how they think. I'm going to be a celebrity one day. Right? And say like you're 50. You're 50 years old, right? <laughs> They're going to look at you like... Oh, the first thing they're going to say... How you gonna be a celebrity? You're 50 years old. Fuck you thinking. Because they don't think that way. So we call these low vibrational people, right? Small minded people. So if you are, if you are, you ever want to kill a big dream, just tell a small minded motherfucker. So these are the things that you have to do when meeting any fucking body. Just hit them out of the clear blue sky and see what the fuck they say. Right? So 
They be like, the first thing they're going to say, the narcissist, to gaslight, is they're going to try to dim your dreams by making you feel less than you are because they ain't shit. So, I'm not shit. You're with me. So, how you going to... That don't make no sense. You're right. It does. It doesn't. Because right now you're figuring out whether you should be with this person or not, right? This is why you fucking said the shit. Just to see what they will fucking say in the first place. To see how they might think about you. How they think about you. So, therefore, if your partner says that to you, like, a celebrity at 50, fuck, how the fuck? Bitch, what are you drinking or what are you using? Because I need some. Because you ain't never going to be shit. This is gaslighting. Right? Now, if your partner says to you, how, how are you going to do it? They're going to ask, a, this is somebody that's interested in your mind. How you, how you expect to accomplish that? What are you going to do to become a celebrity? And then you share with them, I think that we... Because you want to exclude, you want to include your partner, right? I think that we should start a TikTok. And if they say, okay, you know you have the right person. If they say, man, listen, you better keep your day job because I don't see you. I don't give a fuck if you 50, 60. Kick that motherfucker to the curb. Why? Because they're jealous of you. How? They're jealous of your ambition and your drive to survive and to accomplish things no matter how old you are. Because as long as you're living, your dream never dies. Got it? That's just some fucking... I'm just fucking schooling you right now. 150,000 followers on YouTube, I will classify you as a celebrity, Tosh. Well, thank you, my love. I don't classify me as a celebrity. I just classify me as someone that made it. That's still making it. Because I'm not where I need to be at this given moment. But I'm grateful and thankful. Okay? So, again, these are the questions that you need to ask if you're dating someone or if you're on a long term commitment with someone to know whether that you want to continue or be with that person, okay? Hey, what up, Lazy Ellis? Told my friend that I got a Rolex on my Amazon wish list. She said that's why it's on your wish list and not on wrist wrist. I never spoke to her again, 17 years friend. Yeah, you see, that's the hater. So, so what you trying to say? I can't afford that Rolex? What are, you, what are you trying to say? Okay. Wish list. Okay. So if she knew the, the laws, because there's many laws. So if she knew the laws of attraction, okay, the laws of calling things in, then she knew that wish. Wish is a part of manifestation that one day I will be there. You know, there was, um, I got to tell you something. Okay. So I got to use the bathroom. I got to pee. Who's going to wait for me here? I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> I got to use the bathroom, guys. I got to pee. Okay? But, um, true. Love that. Yeah, your dreams never die. Okay? Yeah, we call that dream killers. But, no, we call that jealous. Jealousy in your own relationship that your partner could be jealous of you because they don't have what it takes. They don't have the drive and the ambition to go there. They're fearful about putting their self out there or just doing something, right? And um, no, you need a person that's open-minded and that's curious and want to know how you guys, because I don't give a fuck. We're, we're, we were born, we were all born to, to live fruitful, right? To live happy with uh, our own life purpose, right? Whatever that may be. You want a person that's going to believe in you and that's going to, you know, bring out, you guys bring out the best, best in each other. Not a person that's going to downplay you and downgrade you and, you know, question, question you on how you think and where you want to be. Hey, what up, Gypsy? I love you too. Okay, so, um, 
I gotta pee. I'm sorry, guys. I have to fucking pee. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, guys. I had to pee real bad. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm about... Hold on. Okay. 55. My phone has 55% changes. Yes, it's very hot in the... I would rather... I would say humid. It's humid. Yo, that's my own fucking cousin, man. That st stole my fucking underwear and shit. Uh, panties and bra sets. And taking pictures to send some nigga in jail. Crazy shit. Yo, I always wanted to go... You know, one, once upon a time, I wanted to move to Chicago. But... Again, on my itinerary, I have to visit Texas, Las Vegas, um, Atlanta. These are places, North Carolina, these are places that people want me to go to. Why did I want to move to Chicago? I don't know. I always loved, like, city life, okay? Um, country is good for me. I lived in the country for four years. I find it quite boring. Um, maybe because I was younger. Maybe at, you know, at this time of my life, I need something more peaceful. But I don't know what it is. Growing up in New York, I always heard noise, gunshots, fighting, chaos. I grew up with noise. <laughs> I grew up with noise. So, you know, if it's too quiet, I get kind of like paranoid and shit. Like, yo, it's so quiet. It's so dark out here. Like, what the fuck? See, so like, you know. Yeah, corny ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? But I was going to tell you. So you always want to seek a partner that is on the same page with you. You understand what I mean? Like, and that's how you, you test people. You just test people's mind and see where they at and shit like that. Like, and trust me, I'm advanced. I'm advanced. So, like, when people try to monkey around with me and try to play mind games with me, I already know what time it is. But I play their game. And then I dismiss myself, like, yo, fuck out of here, like. Oh, you live in Galve Galveston, Texas? I heard of that. 
didn't that um what's his name matthew mccoffney or is a pastor td jakes do, don't don't they live out um don't they live out there i'm, I'm just saying you knew you i was from new york how <laughs> You love nature and peace. I love nature and peace too, but not too fucking quiet. Not too fucking quiet. I will have my gun on me all the fucking time. <laughs> okay? I hear a cricket. Bam, bam, bam! Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't like too quiet. I like to hear a little noise. Makes me know I'm, it's still alive out here. <laughs> That's just me. When I was living in the South, um, a couple of things, man, in the South, it's crazy because you got to be very careful with the roads. They have a lot of deers that run in front of your car. I was driving one time and um, there wasn't, it was, it was like a storm. I, I used to live in Greenville first and then from Greenville, I went to Raleigh and um, I was driving down the road. So now with the roads, you have to put your high beamers on because sometimes they're too dark that you can't see, right? But it's you got to be careful with the high beamers because you could blind the other person coming the other way. So you don't want to blind the person, but so you got to click on and off, click on and off, right? Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I was driving down a back road in North Carolina and Greenville. And something said, that's why I said, always follow your intuition. Put the high beamers on. And I seen something sparkly. Guess what that fucking shit was? It was a fucking flood. It was a fucking flood. <laughs> I'm from the city. I never seen shit like that. And I was like, oh shit. It was like what? I mean, it looked like a fucking river. I don't like this. I don't like the South. I don't like the South. I don't like it at all. Yeah, I went I went in the back roads. I went in the back roads in North Carolina. Charlotte, everybody tell me about Charlotte and um, what's that other part of uh, North Carolina? It's not only Charlotte, it's, it's Greensboro. I never been there. So I used to live um, in Greenville next to Aiden, okay? And then I went to Raleigh. If you ask me, all of this shit was boring back then. Yo, that fucking shit is crazy. There was a, um, how many of you guys swim in the ocean? Or know how to swim? How many of you guys swim? <laughs> I would tell you, you in Raleigh? Yeah, I used to live in Raleigh, um, next to Crabtree Valley Mall. Okay, so where I used to live was like a complex. They had like food line in there up the up the strip was like uh taco bell gas station kfc i believe you swim very well me too okay so there was a picture right <laughs> there was a picture um and it said how far would you swim in the ocean so it had one two three four i used to swim with four like deep in the ocean right and let me tell you what happened to me one day. So I took, I used to live in Far Rockaway and I took my goddaughter to the beach in Far Rockaway. I used to live like walking distance from the beach. And um, I said, you get in the water? She said, no, God, mommy. I said, okay, I'm gonna get in the water. I'm gonna swim. I swam out, out, out there that I could see the people, right? So when I began to swim back, this is why when I look at stories about water and shit, and I tell you, I never swam that far again in my fucking life. When I, when I went to swim back, guess what? A current kicked me off my fucking feet. Bam! And I was like in water, like deep in water. But I knew how to get out of a current. But the current, when people tell you, guys, the fucking shit going on in the ocean. But when people tell you about current, and it's fucking taking you. Believe them when they say that fucking shit. Respect the fucking ocean. Because that current knocked me off so hard off my feet that I ended up further down 
than where I was at. And I had to swim around the fucking shit. Go under and swim around the fucking shit to get back to the fucking land. That shit petrified me. I ain't gonna front. That shit scared the fuck out of me that I've never swam that far out of the ocean again. I swim good, but I absolutely cannot stand, cannot swim in the ocean. I only, I'm telling you guys, don't fucking play with the fucking ocean. Don't fucking play with the ocean. Don't. Okay, but now that I, because when I, when I used to swim in the ocean, I never thought about sharks and shit, uh, you know. And I think that everybody that swim in the ocean never think about current, sharks, shit like that. They just take a dip because they know how to swim. But, again, <laughs> just because, you know, <laughs> Don't fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I swim in the pool. Never in the ocean again. Never in the... I, or if I go... If I... Nah, I'm not... No, no, no. So when I see videos and shit like that, and they be talking about, like, the current and shit, I, I could relate. i will be like, yeah. Yo. Yes. Okay? Tries me for a while as a freaking toddler. She did exactly what you did, and I watched the water knock her down and took a few seconds for her to come up totally free. Yes! Yes, love cook. That fucking water? Yo, respect it. Respect it. Respect it. Okay, respect it. I'll let the water hit my feet. I'll go, like, certain, but swimming out there like that again, I'm not doing that ever again in my life. And I used to do that a lot. Never again. Okay? But, um, yeah, man, I'm about to get off this fucking shit. I'm about to get off of it. Yeah, open waters. I used to, I'm not scared of the waters, but that shit freaked me out. And the sharks and shit like that. That shit, that shit opened my fucking eyes. The current. I remember that shit. <laughs> Why am I getting off? That's what the, the question is. Cause I gotta go, man. I've been on there, I've been on here for three fucking hours. I gotta go. I don't feel right in those waters, I'm telling you. Because I never had a, I never had a, I know I never had a like, I never thought about shit. Like I just used to do shit. You know what I mean? Like that's just me, <laughs> you know? I was supposed to do a query, uh, Aries today. I was supposed to do Aries today. At Scorpio. Yo, let me tell you. But, yeah, man. I'm about to get off this shit. I think I had enough laughing jokes with y'all right now. Three hours me talking. This shit is crazy. You wait until I finish up this live. I'm finished. Go wash your fucking car. I'm, you're, you're Aries. I know you're Aries pop and pop. Yo, you're Aries pop and pop, but you been commenting, to, commenting on Capricorn. You dealing with a Capricorn or you have rising moon of Venus in your Capricorn? Yo, I be talking some real shit, man. Like, yo, people can't respect the real these fucking days. They want you to be faking shit and talk about, like, fucking dumb shit. No, there's about to be a thunderstorm in New York. Thank God. I love the rain. I love the fucking rain. But not right now, because I love fucking in the rain. <laughs> I think rain, I think rain is a time to stay home and just fuck all day. That's how I feel about rain. What Janet Jackson said? Making love in the rain. Yes. It's like those people going in the sub that, what the fuck is it? It wasn't even a submarine, man. Let me tell you. The submarine is facts, right? The submarine, right? Those people that went, I don't give a fuck. You couldn't get me, you couldn't pay me 10 million fucking dollars to get in that shit. Because I already knew it was going to be a disaster. Like... You ever heard of people not paying attention to it, their intuitions? They know something is going to go wrong, but they fucking still do it. That's that type of shit right there. 
They knew something was going to go wrong and they still fucking did it. Submersible. That, that, whatever the fuck you call it. I'm going to call it sub. Subby. You know what I'm saying? Like, people put themselves in predicaments knowing that shit going to go wrong and they still put themselves there not following their fucking intuitions. If you would have said, yo, Tosh, I'll give you 10 million to get... Fuck you and that 10 million. I ain't going in that shit. No way. No way. But you know what? You can go and tell me, oh, I forgot. You can't tell me because you're dead. <laughs> not, not to be heartless, but that's just facts. <laughs> okay? Exactly. He felt something. Always go by your intuitions. People always feel something and they don't follow their fucking intuitions and they go fucking somewhere. I'm not doing it. I'm not. No way. I've been in predicaments that... No way. No fucking way. Money money can't buy my life. Mm -hmm. So you're going to offer me $10 million? I ain't never going to see it because... I'm gone now. So what the fuck? <laughs> That's it. Now, if you, tell, you, if you say, I pay you $10 million to walk naked around the block, I'll do that shit. I'll do that shit. 10 million, show me the fucking shit. We gonna count it together. Make sure you're not bullshitting me. We gonna make sure these numbers is not marked and you, not, you don't have no fucking shit in here. All right, I'm gonna have some peoples with me to make sure that this shit is correct. And I walk around the block, fucking block with the fuck the ten million. You better have my fucking money at the end of the fucking day after I fucking show my ass around this fucking block. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you better have my fucking bread. Now I do shit. I do shit on the land. I do shit on the fucking land. All right. The water. I respect the water, man. I respect the water. I respect the water. Now swimming, I could fucking swim. I could dive, I could deep dive swim, but nah. It's true. Yo, give me 10 million, I walk my fucking naked ass around the fucking block. Okay? Fuck it. I'll do that shit. Just make sure somebody holding on to that money. Make sure you got your weapons on you if this motherfucker try to renege on their deal. Okay? Make sure these dollars is not marked and shit. I'll show my fucking ass. I'll show my fucking ass. Because guess what? That ten million dollars, these motherfuckers ain't gonna see me no more. <laughs> they ain't gonna see me no more. So fuck it. I don't give a fuck. The blimp. I gotta look that shit up, Empress. Window seat. Oh fuck, yo. Yo, you ever look at shit? Let me tell you what the fuck I did, man. So, I was in the I was I was in the airport looking at plane. I don't even know what it is with TikTok. TikTok some crazy wicked shit, yo. So I was looking at TikTok. Next thing you know, every fucking thing that I clicked on, like like swipe, it was about airplane crashes. And I'm getting ready to take a flight. I don't even know if that ever happened to you. But I'm like, what this fuck are these motherfuckers trying to do? Tell me I'm getting into a fucking plane crash and shit. Like, yo. You <laughs> when you traveling or when you doing anything, don't look at fucking TikTok. TikTok is a fucking mother. That fucking shit is ruled by the devil. Everything. God, that shit had me fucking bugging. Like, I was looking at everything. Oh, man, let me tell you what happened, man. Coming back home, if you ever traveling, like, because I bought some, I bought some, um, souvenirs, like, knickknacks, like, bracelets and shit for my niece and shit like that. Hey, what up, Coop fam? Um, don't you know they pulled me to the side to search me? I felt violated. But at the same time, the bitch was nice and, I don't know, she was caressing me nice. But I was like, yo, what the fuck you pulling me to the side for? Like, I just got some souvenirs. She fucking telling me to take the case off my phone so she could swipe it. I ain't got no bitch. I ain't here for no fucking drugs and shit. Fuck, I look like a fucking mule. I ain't, no, I ain't down with that shit. <laughs> 
I ain't down with that shit, boo. I, I, I do legit business. I do legit business, but she was searching through, yo, I hate that shit. People looking through my pocketbook and shit like that. My, yo, I'm like, the fuck you doing? I know you're doing your job, but like, what the fuck you pull me over? Like, yo. But they do some swab tests now. They tell you take off your phone case so they could swab the fucking shit down and what type of shit they fucking do? Swab your fingers and shit. Do I look like a fucking drug addict and shit? Yo. Take off your shoes. You gotta take off every fucking thing. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, yo. So if you're traveling out of state and shit, they're gonna do, they, you know, there's chances they're gonna pull you the fuck over and fucking search you and shit. Not everybody that looks human is human, I believe. No, you're right. They're avatars. This is just a vessel. This is just a vessel that we all live in. You understand what I mean? Like, I don't wanna get this. I've been on live too long, but numerology. If you add up, everybody was given a name, right? Everybody has a number. Your number is your birthday. So, for instance, I was born on the 18th, which my number is nine. So, my number being nine means that I'm an old soul and I've been here for a long time, reincarnated many a times, and this is my last time here on earth. Thank fucking God. I don't want to be back here in this fucking bullshit, okay? Your number is eight. You have one more cycle to go, Brooklyn Miss. I'm number nine, so I'm done. You're the 18th of April. Yes. So you know you know more than others. You're very wise for your age. Okay. You're on the twelfth, you're number three. Shit. You got another you got a few more cycles to go. Yours is six, you got a few more cycles to go. But during this cycle, guys, it's all about karma and wrapping up your karmic depth. So whatever you did in a past lifetime, you came here, you reincarnated to correct things in your life. Okay? That's what it's all about. Shit, you got five more cycles, baby. But just know, in this lifetime, try your best to do the right thing so you could jump ahead. Okay, your February third, three. That is your that is your number. My sister Isaac is twentieth of October. She's number two. Okay, you're number six. There you go. So, so you have a lot of. You have a lot of learning to do. So we reincarnate to wrap up karmic debt and to correct things in our life. Okay? Now, when you see people, uh, when you hear about people like getting murdered or shit like that. Oh, and another thing, you could predict your future. So what you focus on is what, is, it, what it shall be. So if you focus on getting murdered or you focus on your life being this, it shall be. Now, the main thing about life is to focus on the positive things and do the right thing. This is why we was born with free will. It has nothing to do with the Bible. The Bible was written by, they say, 40 people, but it was written by intelligent, a highly intelligent person to keep us grounded, right? What's right and what's wrong. But at the end of the day, it's your choice to figure out what's right and what's wrong and to do the right thing, okay? So, basically, for instance, my son, Khalil, he took a bag of chips um, when he was like three years old out of Dwayne Reed, uh, a bag of chips. I went back and I paid for that bag of chips. Okay, most people would look at it like, it's just a bag of chips. He, he didn't know what he was doing or whatever the case may be, but I knew what he was doing, okay, and I didn't pay for it. Although he wanted the chips, he wanted it. I didn't pay for it. So I made sure to go back to Dwayne Reed to pay for it. You know what the lady said? Thank you. Wow. Most people wouldn't have came back for a bag of chips to pay for it. 
you know, you're very honest. Yes, I am, because I know karma, and I know I know the laws, understand, pertaining to life, the laws of prayer, the laws of karma, the laws of, um, there's a lot of laws. Right. So, 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 so I follow the laws, I follow the laws, okay? And um, I don't want a bag of chips to be my downfall when it comes to finances or me getting fucked over because that's a small thing right people may look at it as a small thing oh it's just a dollar twenty what i don't give a fuck if it's dollar twenty something right it's about your integrity and your honesty and how honest you are so that's how universe and god tests you to see how honest you are okay so you never want to fail the test no matter how small or petty you may think they are I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm gonna pay for that bag of chips. Period. Okay. So, laws equal laws. Exactly. Okay. So, again, you're gonna be tested with even minor things that you think is small, but the key to it is passing the test in life. And that's all I gotta say to that. All things are tests. Facts. So, if you think that your child stealing a bag of chips or because it's stealing i don't give a fuck because you know most people will be like oh he's a baby he didn't know better he it wasn't stealing mm -hmm. it is fucking stealing it is because he walked out of this he took it i didn't know that he took he took the bag of chips he didn't ask me for it he was he was three years old he could speak to me like mommy i want these chips he didn't and when i noticed that he had the bag of chips i went back inside and paid for the fucking shit but all in all, that is that is also um, going down to your kids and teaching them right from wrong, and that it's not good to steal. Okay, these are one of the one of the many laws we call them the Ten Commandments: Thou shalt not steal. Right. So that's why I say like you got to read the you you just got to read the book. Got to read the book. That was the best book written. Actually, I'm getting off this motherfucker. But just. Abide by the rules and you'll never lose in life. You'll never lose in life. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. I gotta go, guys. I've been on here too long. Chips are like $6 there. Not here. Chips are like, like the cheapest chips is like $0.99, cents, $1.19 and shit for a big bag of chips. Depending on where you go because we have a lot of bodegas, like store corner stores in New York. The way you read is a little bit more pricier, okay? Because a lot of motherfuckers steal from that shit, so they raise the prices on shit. I don't think that's fair to consumers that are honest and pay for their shit. But the most a bag of chips will go here is like five dollars and change. Yeah, around about six dollars. So soon. Yeah, I'll be in California. I mean, I haven't been to California in like two and a half years, three years. But yeah, I got family out there and shit. But um, I gotta go, man. I gotta go. Like, I'm still trying to wrap my head around doing this Aries video. And I don't want to rush people videos and shit because that's not me. Thank you, Cameron. You live in California? I hate California. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. I don't like California. I've been to I've been to like San Francisco, Sacramento, Los Angeles. I fucking hate it. I do not like California at all. At all, at all, at all. I mean, I might as well stay in New York if I'm gonna see bums on the fucking street, drug addicts and shit. Then we have that shit here. Without the fucking hills. I hate Florida. I hate that shit. My grandparents, like most of my family live in Florida. My grandparents and family live in Miami. I hate that motherfucking shit, yo. I hate Florida. I hate Cali. Maybe if somebody changed my mind about Cali, maybe I might like it. I don't know. They haven't changed my mind yet. The South. a toss up you don't like Cali either right yeah just dandy I hate that shit yo. 
People like, yeah, that's crazy. I don't like it, man. I don't like it. How do I stay so tan? By being tan? I don't know how to explain that. This is my fucking skin. How do I stay so tan? By being tan. I mean, <laughs> I don't use nothing on my skin if that's what you're asking. I mean, by by being in my skin, I don't know what the fuck the question is. How do I stay so tan? I don't know by my mother being light skinned and my dad being like semi dark skinned. Melanin in my skin. How do I answer that question? How do I stay so tan? I don't know. I guess it's genetics. Anatomy. Hmm. That's that's a that's quite a that's quite a question. Now you gave me something to think about. How do I stay so tan? Wow. Now that question I have never had in my fucking life. Hmm. I guess you think I'm a Becky. Is that what it is? You think I'm a Becky and I use something on my skin to alter my skin complexion? That is a fucking... How do I stay so tan? Wow. Well, thank you. I must say thank you if you think I'm another complexion from this. That's actually a fucking compliment, I think. Hmm. That I can alter my skin complexion. Is there such a thing? Let me fucking know. Because that's quite interesting. tell you people this is the things that you got to deal with I tell you all the fucking time whoa I don't know how do I get this tan does this look like a fucking tan to you Yo, you got me thinking about my whole fucking being. I have never had that question before in my fucking life. How did I get so tan? <laughs> that shit is crazy. It's just one of those moments that is like I got to get the fuck off this shit. You got me thinking about my whole fucking being, yo. <laughs> that fucking shit crazy, yo. That's the first question that ever had me fucking think about my fucking self, yo. Thank you for that fucking question, yo. That shit got me thinking, yo. Maybe I should have been like, yo, this shit, yo. Blood clot. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Young guy, yo, yeah, what I tell you about the internet, yo? Yeah. What I tell you about the internet, man? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah. <laughs> I have never thought this much about my fucking life until just now. <laughs> Bumble clot, for real, for real, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That got 
got me thinking about my whole existence, man. That got me thinking about my parents, yo. Whoever asked that question, thank you. I think I'm going to log off and really look at my fucking tan. I mean, because I feel like I'm doing blackface right now. I just don't know what the fuck. It was just like, yo. I don't know. Am I white? You got me thinking about my whole fucking existence. That shit crazy. I have never thought about my existence before until you mentioned that. That's quite interesting. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. But I will tell you one thing. If you want to get tan, right? Just put some baby oil all over your fucking skin and sit out in the sun. And I tell you, you're going to be crisp in the motherfucker. Is actually a compliment? No, yeah, I don't take it no kind of fucking way. I don't take it no kind of way. It's just had me thinking. I mean, I never thought about it that way. I mean, you know. Thank you, Cameron. I mean, I never thought about it that way. I never thought about it that way. I mean, I grew up, what I thought I grew up, brown skin. And I never had a problem with my complexion. I mean, I never, I never thought about it, actually. Thank you, Malik. I mean, Oh, so if you were asking me if this is a fake tan that I have, uh, no, I don't, I don't use, um, any, I don't use any tan and lotions or, um, I don't sunbathe, um, because that's cancerous, although not to melanated skin, that's not cancerous, but I don't sit out in the sun because I quite frankly don't like the fucking heat. I hate the sun, like the, the, you know. Um, but I don't use anything on my skin, um, except with the exception of makeup. I do use makeup because uh, if you see me without makeup, I might scare your fucking ass, honestly speaking. But no, I don't use anything. Um, I don't use anything. No, I don't use anything. I just had a light skinned mom and a semi dark dad, and I came out this way. Yeah. Wow. Never thought about it. But let me get the fuck off of this shit because. Now, I'm going to look in the fucking mirror. I'm going to look in the fucking mirror. Yes, I am, guys. I have a big mirror here. That I'm going to look at every crease of my fucking body. Yes. No, no. Let me see my gums. Yeah. You got me rethinking my whole fucking life. Wow. That has never happened to me before. Well, in a long fucking time. <laughs> I gotta go, guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Yo, stay possible, man.
It's 545. I'm going to do, yo, I'm going to do, I'm going to do Aries and Aries reading tomorrow. Not, not right now. Not right now. Let me just look at my pussy. Let me look at every fucking thing. I'm going to look at my pussy. I'm going to look because, the you know, no. I'm going to look at every fucking thing. I'm going to look at every fucking thing. My fingers, my eyes, my mouth. That was a good one. That was a real good one. That was real good. You got me there. That was real good. I'm part to pour me another drink. You're exactly what I'm looking for. Hey, what up, Kamani? Wait a minute. You're exactly what I'm looking for? You a female or male? I don't deal with females, although, you know, I have a lot of female admirers, I don't deal with females, we could be cool and shit, I ain't got nothing against, you know what I'm saying, but I don't have a liquor license, alright, so I don't know how to do that, personally speaking, I don't have nothing against, but I'm heterosexual. I live in New Orleans. Is that too much sun for you? Yo, I want to go to New Orleans. I've never been there. The Mardi Gras. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't, I don't got a I don't I don't got a LHL. I don't got a LHL. You know what I'm saying? I don't do the fur burger. No. Oh. I'm with the I'm down with the sausage. See what I'm saying? Not with the patty. Got it? <laughs> All right. Beef. Not pork. Beef. <laughs> you an Aquaman? Yeah. Aquarius. When's your birthday, man? Aquarius. I haven't dealt with an Aquarius in many fucking years. I know you're a man. I asked when's your birthday. Okay. How can I contact you? <sighs> January 30th? I got two jobs, honey. I got my own money. That mm -hmm. shit rhyme. You a rap artist and shit? That shit rhyme. I got two jobs, honey. That's, I got two jobs, honey. I got my old money. I don't need nothing from you, <laughs> bunny. <laughs> Cameron, Cameron, Cameron is funny. Hey, what up, Naima? Your birthday is February 18th, like mine's? I gotta go, man. I gotta get the fuck off this shit, man. I gotta go, man. I gotta go. I got you. Your birthday is February 18th, like mine's. Fucking shit. I don't know what the fuck going on here. I don't know, man. Yeah, I saw it. 18th of February. That's me, too. I don't want nobody like myself. <laughs> I don't want nobody like myself, fuck. I want my day to be my day, man. I don't want to be celebrating my day with your day. I don't wanna I don't wanna celebrate the same birthday. Fuck that. I'm selfish like that. Oh, you're February 17th. That's my grandfather. We're soulmates. <laughs> so fake. <laughs> so fake, man. So fake. 
Yo, Shanae, what up, man? You love music? Why, why do I feel like I'm being catfish here? Why do I feel like I'm on like a fucking blind date and shit? On my own fucking live? I gotta get off this shit. Now, mind you, I'm talking to myself. But that doesn't mean I'm crazy. I'm just sorting shit out with my fucking mind right now. Okay? Yo, this shit crazy, son. I feel like I'm being, like, tested, man. Yo, I gotta go, man. I gotta go. Like, like I'm being tested right now, man. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo, talking to yourself ain't nothing wrong with talking to yourself. You're just sorting out shit in your fucking mind because you can't talk to nobody else. I got Libra reading up already. They say it scared the fuck out of people. Thank you, baby. My hoops are fire. Thank you. It's actually my name. Tasha Tosh. Libra was yesterday. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. I'm feeling like I'm being like, fucking, yo. Who the fuck is testing me right now? Yeah. I think this liquor is kicking in, guys. I gotta fucking take a nap. <laughs> I gotta fucking take a nap Cause this shit crazy You and me have the same birthday No way No way My birthday is very fucking odd Well no it's not Cause John Travolta and Dr. Dre have my birthday But still in all I have never Ever Dated someone with my birthday Or had the same birthday as me And I was interested in. Hmm. Kind of odd. It would be like dating myself, I guess. But would I want to date myself? I would not fucking want to date myself. Scorpios? I would never fucking date a Scorpio in my fucking life. Ever. Again. Hmm. No way. You couldn't pay me. You couldn't pay me a billion dollars to take to, to date a Scorpio again. <laughs> the worst. Mm -mm. Tasha ain't doing it. I ain't got time for psycho. Sorry. Are they? Yo. Nah, I wouldn't. Oh. You know what's crazy? And I'm going to say this much. You know what's crazy? My next sign to date is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Good luck with that, Chuck, because, yo, an air sign like myself or a water sign. <laughs> We'll see, though. We'll fucking see, but not my fucking birthday. No way. What the fuck we gonna do? Dress up like twins on our fucking birthday and shit? You wear a red shirt and a black pants, and I'm wearing a black shirt with a red pants? Fuck out of here. I'm not, I don't want to be bopsy twins and shit. Do you believe in that shit? Being twins on a birthday? Fuck, no. Nah, I can't do it. I hate that shit. You ever seen people go out and look at like twins and shit like that? Wearing the same fucking shit? I don't want to say, yo, we're not wearing the... We could wear similar shit that look the same, but I'm not wearing the same fucking shit that you're wearing. Fuck I look like. You wearing polka dots. We going, we wearing polka dots looking like a fucking big ass fucking period sign. Get the fuck out of here. Hell no.
It's true. You ever seen that? People dress the same? Why do people do that? Why do people dress like Bopsy twins? That is my question. Now, I would dress like my man in a certain way, but more feminine. So if my man have on red and black, I'm going to put on something feminine, red and... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Have you ever seen it? I've seen it a couple of times. I, you know, that's just me. I would dress up something feminine, but I'm not dressing like no fucking dude and shit. We have on the same shirt, same pants, same... Sn Fuck I look like. No. I'm not doing it. Yo, what up, Robin? I gotta get off this fucking shit. Yo, what up, Diego? I seen it a lot of times. That people dress the fucking same. Why? Are you trying to make a statement that we're together in union? Nigga, we ain't got to dress the same to say that we and you ain't together. Because you could wear those jeans and that fucking shirt. But I'm going to wear something feminine to match you. To match you. But not match, match you. Yeah, you put a feminine spin on that shit, yo. We walking out looking like fucking twins and shit. Fuck is... Yo, I'm alright, man. Yo, I gotta get off this shit, man. Cause these fucking shit, this fucking yeah. Now you talking. Now I'm talking. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. And maybe we can hold hands. Maybe. Maybe. It's like walking down the fucking aisle and we both got on tuxedos. Yes. Taj find herself a man? No, 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 I haven't. I, I don't know where you got that shit from. I haven't found myself a man. Nope. They're claiming their territory by us looking like fucking Bopsy twins. Uh, no way. No, no. I gotta, yo, I gotta go, man. I gotta go. You motherfuckers is crazy. You gonna make me look like I'm crazy. I ain't crazy, son. No. I ain't crazy, man. Lesbian couples do that, so who's the fucking aggressor and who's the femme? I just want to know if they both do that shit, yo. That's the fucking key. I'm just saying, I don't know about the lesbian life. So if we both wearing tuxedos, that means we're both the aggressor and the, 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 the you know, the man in the relationship. I don't know how to, I don't know how that goes. Heterosexual couples, I see it all the fucking time. I'm not fucking one to do that shit. I'm sorry, bro. We're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing it, bro. Is it for us to show that we're together? Now that's some whack shit. If if that's what you want to do to go, okay. So I had a baby shower, and. The, my last pregnancy, I had a baby shower. It was it was the owl. It was gray, yellow, black, and white. I wore a black turtleneck because it was winter time. It was fucking freezing. I wore a turtleneck bodycon dress with some fishnets, some gray leggings, and some um, Timberlands. But the Tims was like feminine Tims. It was like it had like a, a wedge heel Tim's. I forgot. It was like Earth Earth Keepers twins, right? Uh, twins. Tim's. Fucking twins. Uh, yo, shit got me bugging. My baby father, he wore black pants, a gray shirt, 
and some Tim's. See? So we were with the same colors, but we wasn't fucking looking alike. That I'm wearing black pants, a button-down fucking gray shirt, and some fucking men Tim's and shit. I did it feminine, he did it masculine. But we had all the same fucking colors. I mean, couples do that, but I'm not walking around looking like you fucking hold me and shit. Fuck out of here. Then you might as well throw me a rope fucking chain and shit in a jukebox and a kango. Fuck. Why not? So we could just be walking up in there like... You see what I'm saying? Like, that don't fucking make sense to me. And I guess it never will. Yeah, this life is right now, Janae. And I'm getting off right now. Yeah, Robin. I gotta go, guys. I love you guys. I'm out of here. It's going on four hours on one this fucking shit. No way. No fucking way. Out of here. Salute to you guys. I'm pouring me another drink and watch a fucking movie. And, and, and gather my fucking thoughts. Because this shit crazy. Alright, guys. Stay safe. Have a nice Sunday. I'm out.